right. Yeah, You're so right. depressed, man. Huh? You're so sad. Well, we'll just do like the hour. Where's your balls? Oh, man, you. And then... You want a bowl? Um, I'm good right now. Dude. I got this little uh, tequila. Little Jose. Little Jose. In here? my life. It's not here. Oh, we in here. No, it isn't here. Wait, we in here? It's what in here? I'm not even set up, dude. Come on. Relax. I got, I got oh, get my computer sense. out. I got to plug it in. Plug it gotta, in. Plug I it in. this mic now because shit's everywhere and stuff's everywhere. <laughs> Classic Huss, never Fucking coming to dude, Oh, there he goes. Oh, my God. Uh, fucking up. Hey, How are you, you, you messing up you know, already, fucked, You know that Look. FIFA fucked him up when we came uh, in with the mic? Oh. Hey, if you guys want to stick oh. with that Mickey Mouse shit, that's fine. Obama you know, bang. I need my space. I need my, my intellect space. Yeah, it's because you you, you knock everything over. Oh, intellect space. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. Huss, I'm really sorry. Speak. I don't have a laptop currently at the moment. Sorry. What? I'm buying a new one. Why? Where's the other one? Why are you I sorry? And I put it in the group chat and you didn't respond. Yeah, because I didn't want it. How is how? Hey, you like my new wallpaper? Not really. What? It's like the art. Who it's drew like the that? Orange like the, art. Uh, a so if anyone has a Mac, it's that new orange, like modern art type of that wall. Four year old drew nice. or something. Yeah, know. he's just trying to be trendy. You know? Not trendy, like, dude. Kinda, I like it. Kind of like snacks. You know, just trying to be trendy, trying to mm. fit in. You know. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, like, I fit in I'm relaxed, man. I'm relaxed. Fit in just yeah, you I'm fit. There. Yo, to be fair, you fit in just fine at Comic Con. No, no, he fits in just fine at Comic Con. Oh, says when we play FIFA, he's always there. Yeah, nah, he wasn't there tonight. I tell you, he wasn't there tonight. Just fine at the Triple X store. All right, bro. The Triple X store. How's your new doll going? How's your guys' weekend? Your new doll going? How'd that go? My new what? Doll from the Triple X store. Oh, like, like, he's, he's, he's ragging. You, are you talking ragging. Vin Diesel, man? I love that movie. Some good <laughs> shit. How's you guys' weekend, so Oh, I see Tom on the mic right here. You got snacks on the mic over here. Back yeah. after Hussey now. over here in the corner. How you doing? Relax. You wish. No, this is Hussey. Yo, and that's Al. Get in the corner, Hussey. I like how you pointed at me. <laughs> yeah. How was you guys' weekends, man? You guys had good ones? Yeah. Oh, I was having a fucking great week. I already told Tom about it. Then what did you, you know? do? Look in the mirror? No, I went to Ooh. a Boom, roasted. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> no, you're not mad. I smashed it. Huh? He's coming at you. Uh, got mad, destroyed, huh? buddy. <laughs> Anyways, no, I went to a Smash Bros. tournament for the new game. I won it. Uh, I took my mom out to breakfast yesterday. Wait, you won the whole tournament? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Hey. Yeah, hey. So you got, some, you got some money. Couple, I like that. I like that. hundred bucks, yeah. And then I had, uh, what is it? Wait, who was in the tournament? Was it like your mom or your cousins or? No. Oh, Nine year old. Why you gotta bring up the mama, bro? Why you gotta bring up no, the mama? No, because he said he took his mom out afterwards. I took my so mom I off, like, they went out on you know. Saturday. You know, we had a grand old time. What are you doing with my backpack? You're moving it. You need it? Yeah. Well, get it on my face. It's uh, it's it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, suff- it's suffocating so you know me, man. Sunday comes around and I'm like, you know what? Sunday Premier League. I just saw Man City win eight 0 It's gonna be a fun Premier League weekend. I see the fucking shit result, Man United pissed out. We'll get Amazing result! Amazing How result! How was your weekend, Bert? It's all right. And yours? Uh, I I helped save a life of referee. Uh, I don't know if you did. Technically, you never gave him mouth to mouth. First off, first off, no, we did all the right procedures to get him. He collapsed on the field. He had heat stroke. (laughs) So we ran over there. We made sure, like he had, he uh, kept consciousness. He (laughs) thankfully he didn't um, lose consciousness. Really, anything like that. Thankfully, we didn't have to give him CPR. But it was lucky enough. Tragic event. How how do the kids handled it? Oh, they didn't know what was going on. We oh, just made the coaches, myself and the other coach, made sure that the kids just went off, and then me uh, and a few of the parents. One was a nurse, I think. We just boom got to work. Yeah. By work, you mean fond? As in, okay, yeah. okay, all right. No, it was it's the best kind no, of CPR. Legit though, it was like one of those moments where I don't know if you took the CPR courses before. They're like, oh, you don't know have. when you got needed. Yeah, no, I have with and the then, dummies, and then you gotta. Yeah, eight minutes left in the game. You see him kind of like going, you know, down to a knee. Then he gets up. Then he actually collapsed. I'm like, oh, this is real. That's pretty wild, man. Just, Hopping. That's pretty wild. And then uh, he was just watching and laughing on the, late yeah. night. <laughs> he didn't do anything. Late night uh, McDonald's run last night. Mm, they were only taking cash. What's car, that about? We, don't worry, we had cash. The car in front of you didn't. The car behind us didn't. So what they try to do? They, they try to cash, leave the lane, and they try to take the Your bumper food? with them. Oh, no. Thankfully, uh, they weren't going super fast. It was just a couple scratches. Not that bad. Uh, we can Got that license plate, right? Just, just buff them up. No, no, she stayed, but it was just, okay. it, you can buff everything. That's what you're like, going to McDonald's. Like two or three strikes. I Damn. mean, it wasn't my fault. You know whose fault it was for going to McDonald's late night. <laughs> you? All, no, no. no. Fault was Where's that? your accountability? <laughs> no, nah, it's Linda. No, nah. 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 I already ate. Nah. Nah. I, 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 and who's tied to Linda? We went to a Chinese food restaurant beforehand. I got spring rolls, egg rolls, chicken fingers, 
Goises. Hey, my weekend. Goises. I knew, uh, my uh, weekend was great. Thanks for asking, bro. No, I didn't, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, well, I guess you I'm know done. What I mean? Yeah. So, no, okay. No, Tom, my weekend was, how awesome. was your weekend. Oh, oh, thanks, well, bro. Well, awesome because no, you it was great. Us. It was great, man. It was, yeah, I, I got to see Spurs lose, Man United lose, Chelsea lose, Bentley University of men's soccer. Shout out. Got the dub playing really? against playing against St. Angelums this weekend. Thirty seconds left in the match. Our best player's got a free kick, top of the 18. Head coach is like, hey, you got to think about overtime. What are, we, what are you going to do for overtime? Beep. Whistle goes. Kid bangs in the free kick. I'm like, uh, there is no overtime, coach. There, there is, is no overtime. overtime. Fucking got the duckets with 30 seconds left. So. And sucks, Arsenal won. I mean, St. sucks. What yeah, well, look, comeback victory. And Arsenal comeback. won, too. Just like Arsenal, we came back. You never know what's happening. Sometimes Reds. Wait, is that a, is that a big like rival right there, dude? It's a, it's the first league. It's the first conference game of the year. Oh, at okay, home. so, so we had to take care of business, and we did, man. Uh, all right, let's. You well, think let's your players drank that the... night? We'll get, we'll get... Say what? <laughs> you think your players drank that night? Uh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> uh, no uh, comment. No comment. Yeah. I trust those guys. Well, let's get down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> Chelsea won. Liverpool two. The big top six matchup of the weekend. PFC three eleven. By the way. Uh, yeah, PFC three one one. Um, How do you yeah. rate that band, by the way? 311. Dude, like that's them? a dope fucking band, do you bro. like them? They got some bangers. It depends on the day I like them. Was it some Tangerine? Days like Too early for or, um, time, Amber. Amber. Oh, Amber is the only color that I see. Not, not <laughs> even that close, shit, bro. Not even close. Yeah, it's something like that. Something like that. Yeah, it was like a high school. Like I got oh, them in yeah. high school. It was like one of those type of First time bands. I heard them, I was in sixth grade. See? It's one of those. It was... Anyway, incredible. railroaded... Dude, Huss, we're talking about your guys here. Ooh. Away from home, oh, Liverpool. Oh, we're talking about Liverpool already? Liverpool take the Duckers Before you get going, this from was Chelsea. Liverpool's first away win in a while? Oh, against I, top six sides at oh, least. I thought we were, I thought we were talking about um, like, oh. like a challenging game. I thought we wanted to start with oh, like United or something having challenge. Like Chelsea, no, we, that's we not... That. They're cute. They're cute. In a couple of years, they'll be dangerous. Uh, this, was a, this was a challenging game, Huss. <laughs> it was a challenging no, so, game. Um, this game... I hate that little. So player. I was going after. I was going right before the show. Right before I was coming over here, I was looking at some of the highlights too. Where I was just noticing that there were more highlights in the first half of this game than there were in the Arsenal game altogether. And I'm not. That's not. No, no. That's not. That's not, that's not a diss to Arsenal. No. I'm just saying, even a three-two game, Liverpool two-one uh, with Chelsea was crazy. Right. There were so many chances. There were so many incidents. I, I just. I thought it was a um, great energy. Look, it was and definitely was some great energy, it. but I don't know what funky ass um, video website you went to. Here's what here's what happened: Liverpool created a lot of chances, especially in the first half. Dominated the game, went in with a two nil lead in the halftime. I mean, you you'd say the usual suspects, but Mohamed Salah actually looked a little bit off, in my opinion. He had he some had loose touches. Oh yeah, he had he some loose touches, touches, dude. Got himself a cheap assist, rolling it to Trent Alexander Arnold, who had a fucking free kick of a a banger of a free kick, I should say. Uh, but overall, dude, Liverpool were dominant, man. Dude, but again, on, on, on Salah, man, Mane's got six more goals in all competitions in, in 2019. You know, he, he's performing at, a, at another level. And what, he, what and he never goes hiding. If he's not scoring goals, mm-hmm. he's supplying the attack in some sort of way with his work rate. No, not that's, saying, that's not saying Salah doesn't work in press, but dude, Mane's a different animal when it comes to, comes to defending. And that free kick right off the, right off the training ground, that killed the game. You know, that killed that first half at least. Yeah, no, it, it, it was, was a dagger because Chelsea looked good. Chelsea were buzzing. Dude, Chelsea had their chances. Chelsea's got heart. That's like the they, credit they you have to They are professionals, man. Yeah. They still have some mercenaries in the group. Mm. But I thought William starting with smart play, bringing his athleticism, his strength, his, his experience. His strength? What his strength? What a, what Virgil what a, what popped him on the ground like I four mean, times. Wait, time out. Two minutes into the dude, game, he wait, goes and wait. holds his. You, you said, you said, you said Virgil's Virgil, the strongest. You said dude. Virgil van Dyke, man. Yeah. I know. He, he bodies everybody. So, oh so pick another comparison. All right. So thank you. Sit down. William's strong. No, don't. But that free guy sitting down. William sat down like four times in that game. Oh, my God. But the free kick, man. Open the floodgates, Al. Little, little, no. Tom opened the, the floodgates with the fucking team. Damn straight. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. You'll yeah. get some more in a little bit. Hey, oh, boy. Wants, I just got to time it. I got to time it. Got to end strong. But it, it was. Well, well, after the Arsenal, before we get to United, I need a little bit more. Dude, <laughs> Trent, Trent Alexander Arnold might be one of the finest strikers of the ball with that Ooh, right foot. From like, set pieces. Set pieces. Oh. 
But My uh, second to none. God. But that free kick was class, man. Like, he couldn't put that more in Dude, the side. Dude, it's training panel. ground shit. Like, yeah. Liverpool have become so. And I'm kind of like jacking this point for my bro, Tiki, who couldn't be here because he's on his um, anniversary dinner ah. with, the, with the wifey, you know, and all that. Uh, the um, wifey who got like 102 or 104 points this week, who yeah, led our league. 104. Uh, who led our league in points, I and believe. mayonnaise. No, nah, she got lucky. That's all right. Um, anyway. No Antonio in the lineup, I see. Mm, mm. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, no, no, Liverpool, they, they've, they've gotten so efficient at their system, at the high press, at the speed of play, being clinical, making sure that Mohamed Salah and Mane are the actual strikers, Firmino playing that false nine role. It's almost as if now they're just like, they're just trying to round out the game. It's like, all right, let's move on to set pieces. So you bring that up, and remember three or four years ago, there are multiple, even two years ago, there are multiple people coming after Klopp on the way they train and yeah. the way he doesn't make subs and the way the fact that people are getting injured. Yeah. There, are, there are coaches, there are uh, past coaches, there are past physicians, there are past physios that were like, this is not right, this is not the way. Klopp's like, chill, I got this. And now we're seeing it. There's less injuries, knock on wood. Because it, it takes years to get it, to that it, physical and that's, level. And that's what well, they you still, you, But you system. still haven't won the Premier League, which is the real test of uh, longevity. The real endurance stamina test. So this that's real. Year, no, no, that's, 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 that's real. But at the same time, don't make it seem like they they lost at like seventy seven points to some scrubs. the The team that beat them is the maybe the greatest team we've ever seen in the England. Uh, era. Well, well, yeah, this, this year, era. this year, who who have who have Liverpool played? That's like a top club in the league this year. You guys are perfect up to this Chelsea, point. Arsenal, um, Chelsea are in the top club, bro. Would we play you already? Yeah, yeah we beat they you. beat you 3-1 or something. Damn, you know? bro. Damn. Yeah, you know what? Amnesia. Damn, I would bro. keep that in there, too. Damn, bro. Look, uh, our, our defense is shite anyway, so I'd expect you guys to definitely hang three yeah, up on us. But, all right, so you guys have actually had some fucking... You've played some top six guys. Two of the top six. The two of the weaker, I mean... No, United, no, no. United's in there, too, yeah, but no, Spurs... No. Chelsea and United. Man City's the only real test for Liverpool, and we'll get to the Man City game later on, but I think that Man City's still are at their caliber. They can still be champions, no problem. Easily. It's all in Liverpool. Oh, I think they it's got a problem. It's all in Liverpool. Maintain that they've lost one game in the last forty-four ma- EPL matches, which is a crazy record against Man City. What is Klopp they, they, doing they just with don't these lose, guys? They just don't lose games. It, it's, a me- it's a mental thing. It's all mental. It's got to be. You got to get these guys on your wavelength and look, get them to die. Well, it's for mental, it. but it's also talent too. These yeah. teams both went out and and spent money. If you're not going out and spending money in the right places, aka United, you're not going to succeed. But my dude, they got Liverpool has quality like Salah, Mane, Firmino. These dudes weren't bought as stars. Klopp developed these guys into stars. This is why I'm looking at Pep Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp, and I'm saying, who's got the edge right now as Pep we Pep speak? Guardiola. Pep Guardiola. Pep. Dude, but Pep, Pep's got the longevity, up. but dude, I mean. Dude, they're both buying. They're both no. buying. I don't and give I'm a shit. Ma- Pep, I'm not mad at that. Pep is the better manager. You can go with that. You can go with that. But the when I'm looking at Jurgen Klopp, dude, like, he develops his players into world-class players. Like, I, I see that more Maybe I'm going. Maybe I'm going a little buck wild here, but no, I see that a little bit more from you Klopp wanna... than I do from Pep. Like, look, it's kind of insane. Look how, at players how well he develops players from Dortmund as well. The plays that he developed there, yeah. and even when they left, and there were some it's that nuts, didn't dude. do so well Same when they, once Pep, they left though. Klopp. Same thing with Pep. Tiago Alcantara. But Pep only sees. Uh, see, yeah, Pep that... only seems to have that like Aguero. That dude who was a star no, 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 before. But, like, but like let, let, let's say this: we had Raheem Sterling, for example, untapped potential. Never, developed him, never no doubt. Developed him. Leroy Sané got him in. Developed him. Ayer McLaporte got him. Developed him. No doubt. Zinchenko got him. Developed him. Foden got him. Developed him. Rodri well, now. Rodri got him. Hasn't developed him just yet. Kyle Walker brought him in and developed him. No, the, no, Kyle well, Walker's been nice. At the same time, he wasn't as nice. I think, no, I think, no, Kyle Walker's been a, Kyle Walker's been a East. top three right back in the EPL for like a decade. I think. No, I think he's in a new level with Pep. It's just, it's not, it's more, ta- it's more. He needs world class players, of course. Both managers do, but Pep is all system based, where Klopp is more individual based. You know, and he realizes uh, the chemistry. I mean, there are obviously this tactics and everything. Look, it's close. It's close because I'm looking at like an Andrew Robinson who's, bought who, in from who, Hall who, City for like 11.5. Who, but who's the more interchangeable side? Liverpool or, or who's the most what? Man, interchangeable. Man City. Man City because they have more depth. That's because the quality of depth. And that's been a weakness of Klopp, I agree, is rotating guys. But also look at Liverpool. They don't spend like Man City do. They just don't. They may have the budget, but they. I think it's also sort of like a cultural thing where they're not just a a super buying club like Man City is. Man City will buy anyone and everyone. So, look, it's close. 200 every year. I'm not mad at you, Al, for saying Pep. I think Pep also has that track record, but I just look at, like, in terms of 
the players he buys, like Trent Alexander Arnold, dude. Like we didn't really know shit about this. Dude. He's academy. Joe Gomez, like academy. he didn't know academy. shit. Academy development. Robert, not necessarily Robertson. buying. Yes, not Robertson. They bought. Not Robertson. Purchase. Just, 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 just development. Well, just, just think about this too. Mohamed hey. Salah, Sadio Mane. Development, well, dude. Like, the, no, for no, no, no. On your point, on your point. Think about Sadio things. Mane, Sadio no. Mane, I won't agree with you because I saw signs at Sadio Mane when he was at Southampton. Maybe he took it up another he level. He was nice. He scored like um, the hat trick. Fastest and hat trick in Premier League. No history, doubt, bro. But like, bro. I saw the sign. So like, even when he, he went saw to, the sign, I saw the sign. But it, hey, but <laughs> that's what he said. But I've seen signs he, from plenty he players. Him to a but new who, who, hey, who, who had a better player when they bought either Sadio Mane or Kevin De Bruyne? Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin Everyone De Bruyne. saw whoa, him. Whoa, whoa, You can't even say that. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, he was Berg. And well, he, he won. He won. He got what bought. What about? And then he, he won Bundesliga Player of the Year, though. For me, no. No, he won Bundesliga Player of the Year when he came in. Yeah. German Player of the Year, bro. He won. Yeah, what the fuck does that mean? So did Mkhitaryan. That just means he was at a higher level. Mkhitaryan than Mkhitaryan won Player of the Year. What's yeah, he was at a higher level. But and what did the coach do with Mkhitaryan? Well, it was part of Mkhitaryan not being able to translate into the league. But as well, did the coach coach him up? Mourinho's knock has been development. He just needs Aguero's. He needs guys who are ready now. Versus Klopp, who, dude. Virgil van Dijk, coming in from Southampton, like, he was a beast. We could all tell. He's undoubtedly the number one center back in the world. I don't think it's an accident that Klopp's his manager. You, know, you, know, what, you know what was on Klopp's side above everyone, every other manager in the league is that Liverpool were hopeless. You know, the, I mean, the, it's basically, they they, there's no expectation. They so so you bring in a guy with, rep, Brendan Rodgers gave him a plenty amount of time to develop, got, came close, had to leave. But, like, close. you're given so much time. Louis Suarez came close. There, there's no expectations. Kenny didn't. There's, there's no, there's no. There's, no, there's, there's expectations with Liverpool, bro. Now there are. Well, but now they're up. No, but when Klopp took over, it didn't matter. Like, it's just, well, Klopp it's just, came it, in and he said it, this anywhere like was an improvement from five, anything here's the thing. consistent. There was no consistency. Now right. they're consistent. He, he's the broken that mold. Liverpool were a sleeping giant, right? But that and gives you time to cultivate and learn the club and bring people in and train. You know, well, like it, it I just, agree. They, it's a fostering environment because there's time and not, no not infinite time. But Pep had other too. people do it. Dude, Pep walked into champions, and you got to keep. You got to. We want champions, and he did poorly until he brought all those players in one year. Until he brought, then they spent like. 200 and something million on just defenders because the expectations was we need to be competing we need to win Champions no, League why in this yeah. ball and, and then like, Klopp was like uh, Champions League yeah, yeah. And I, but well, at the same time I, like I when Klopp with... came in he had like a little he had from he brought in Firmino no, no the next year he brought in some players I forget who it was off the, he brought in Mane brought in a midfielder he didn't bring he didn't spend to the extent he brought in like Grujic and he was a bust. So when we talk about top talent, would you say Le- Leroy Sané is a better signing than Firmino five years ago? Mm. Or four years ago whenever he came in? No. no. Firmino I would was say highly touted, bro. No, no. Firmino was oh, you're very... You're saying, oh, you're saying, oh, you're saying when yes. he came in. Like, the, who came in with, like, the more... Leroy, Leroy Sané has been... Has, when he came over to the city, he was looked at, like, the next guy. The next guy He was, like, German. one of the top three young guys, I think, in that class. Yeah. But, I mean, even look at left backs. Robertson's probably top two left back in the in the league, maybe top one. Who, I think he's the who, best who, in the league. Who, who's, who's he competing with? Dude, uh, he's competing right, with everyone they, else in the league. All I, other mean, I know it kind of stinks because of the injury, but didn't City spend like sixty no, mil no, no, for no, eleven? No, no. You, said, you, said top, you said top two. Who's better than him? No, no, I'm just Robert, I was, no, I was just going conservative. Robert, I was saying at least top two, no, maybe no, Robertson's top. number one. Okay, right? so it's, it's far and away. He's but again, one. I mean, he came from Hull. And look to see what Klopp did with him. The same thing. He was showing the signs. Like you, could, if you watch, I mean, I'm granted. The signs. Who was showing more signs? Granted. Him or Mendy? Dude, I don't think Andrew Robertson was showing those signs no. to uh, where nope. we'd see him as the best left back in the league. Did we buy like, him for like five he was, mil? He was like eight a mil young, or something. He was a young. Oh prospect. yeah, he was showing signs. He, he bought money for like thirty. I, I, and Mane showed the signs. Mane, 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 Mane showed, showed the signs. signs. Mane showed the but, signs. But dude, did Mane show? How many goals does he have in like twenty six? When Mane scored, or when Mane scored that hat trick, I was like, this guy's gonna be one of the best players in the Premier League. Okay, right. that's you. he was that's showing you signs. But put it this way: when Liverpool and United were probably the two heavily linked teams going for Firmino, if he was showing as many signs as you say, you tell me that United won throw forty. I'm just well, saying, Man City get like when dudes Raheem like Sterling just went for fifty like a year before. Yeah, Man City get dudes like Bernardo Silva. That's another dudes like Rodri. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Like, who bought it? Oh, who bought uh, Sterling for fifty? Oh, City. Well, what are we even talking about anymore? I know. Yeah, yeah no, we, Pep, Pep versus Klopp. That's what it's turned yeah, into. It's, it's, it's another it's Pep versus about, Klopp. Uh, it's a complete. What, what I'm saying is, if you gave those two the same exact team, you think Klopp who, would far and away beat him? Klopp who, who would who would be better? Pep. 
I don't know. I, I don't know because if you gave, see, it just it just you're getting a favorite no, 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 getting a favorite pet. There, there's no point. There's no. no it's not okay, a discourse. We're just, we're just it's just because I'm subjective. Saying, if you gave if you gave Klopp the undeniably <sighs> best roster in the league, what does do that you, mean? Do you think he could be Pep? If he had the Liverpool team. Yes, because Klopp's system, and this is where it becomes legitimate, Al. If you look at Klopp versus Pep, Klopp's system seems to actually be the best to play against Pep Guardiola. You don't let him be comfortable. You so, gig and press him. You press him up high. And we're, that, we're talking no, about this okay, in regards okay, to like, okay, who's going to win the league. The Man City game now, 8 nothing. Yeah. Uh, Man, Sorry, City, Man City losing last week to Norwich or two weeks ago. might have been the best, two, right? best thing that happened to them. Because... I've seen old United teams lose like that, and, and then, then and then down. win the next, you know, win end up winning thirty something games. That's or a great point. Out. Games. Man City, do you know, this it shit doesn't matter every year. I mean, they like, respond right away, but they pressed. And granted, it was uh, it was it was Watford and their new manager and everything, but they pressed until the ninety third minute. They pressed until the they yeah. they pressed until the ninety third minute. Man City pressed Kevin well. They're an amazing yeah, I mean, pressing system, but. Liverpool's got the best you know pressing the, system but, but in the listen, world. But listen, but but Man City play more possession, possession. More possession, we lose yeah, the ball. Exactly. Then we pr- like we press when we're high. We don't we don't press nonsense. You know, like if you look at their possession stats, like Man City just keep the ball. Oh, 100 percent. Yes, but that's again, what, last year, yeah. last year was less about the managers, less about the starting lineups. It was a, mostly about the depth of both teams. Mm-hmm. And where do you get that from? The paycheck. I mean, sorry, the wallet of the owners. Oh, Liverpool didn't have that. Dude, you okay, no, 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 over, no, 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 Former player of the year. Sorry, former England player of the year. No, I was, I'm not buying that anymore because this window, you what? guys had your chance to stock no, no, up. They, they were saying they couldn't. Klopp, they no, said no. they already spent that money. So no, they said no. they didn't have any money. Klopp said, we just won the Champions League. And maybe he could have been pulling a Wenger where he's trying to cover up. But Klopp said, we don't necessarily need to add <clears throat> starters to this lineup. He also said they we're didn't have bring the money. Dudes. Because... They had first dibs at Coutinho. No, he and said, he said, we just can't afford you. That's what he, he told said. They don't Coutinho have the money too. that City does. But he didn't say and they didn't have the yeah, money. No, no. He said they didn't have the money for Coutinho. They came out and said that. That's well, a quote. Was Coutinho fucking 150, 100 million? You couldn't have, no, bought, no, 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 you couldn't no. have bought another $50 million player? You could have done that. You chose not to. That's why I'm not buying that argument, dude. Like, as far as Liverpool, Wait, you guys have. You, you, you just he, won the he, Champions he League. Man not City, have the money. I'm not in the no. culture right there. I don't know how. Hey, you just they, won the listen, Champions I'm not sure the, the type money. of payments. I'm not sure the type of payments Your they had two years different ago. different than Man City. No, but the two years, maybe they put that money um, <laughs> on the <laughs> books where, where they where? had to pay it the next year. I'm not sure their deals. Dude, this is. You win the Champions League, you get a boatload of money. Yeah, I know. They have like 200 million or 100 million or something between league and. Let me finish. All I'm saying, to Tom's point, all he's saying is that you can't sign a guy for 30, 25, some depth. You chose to go with him. No, he chose to trust in his youth and trust in his squad. You can easily. I mean, he. He brought brought a couple of cheap guys, right? He brought in a couple of cheap uh, low low guys. Yeah, he had like 3.5 mil. But you, you, I mean, because it's his hubris, man. He's cocky. Klopp's a cocky motherfucker. Uh, That's part of it. He's, he's got he's got ego, and his ego is that I don't need anything. You know, I mean, granted, if you can buy, if you can spend another hundred fifty, yeah, we'll bring someone in. That disrupts chemistry. Look at Veron at United. He came in, skulls keen, disrupted the chemistry. <clears throat> so sometimes you don't need someone like Kutik. I think, and that's what, and that's Coutinho his take. Answer anyway, but yeah. for depth, someone who's better than Shakiri, who, who's willing, who's young and willing to sit on the bench and and, and get minutes when he can. Mad people would say that's Origi for this reason, though. Like, look, you can upgrade on Origi, and I agree. Like. Origi's not the best dude out. You can definitely fits, upgrade though. on him. You can upgrade on a Shakiri. I just think that's where Klopp struggles is the depth and the rotation of his first team. He loves sticking with his first team. It's man. like FIFA. And, and as far yeah, as Man he's, City goes, but he's Pep- also never been with a team that could afford. Pep's had. That's why he's not good at it. Pep had Barca. Yeah. He had Bayern, yeah. and now he has City. Three teams that are mega money. Klopp had Mans, Dortmund. And, Liverpool. and that's why he's not good at it. He's not used to, I think, purchasing depth. He's the phoenix. He well, rides from the but fucking Man, ashes. Man City 8, yeah, Watford 0, yeah. yeah. We could be talking about We're Pep versus it. Klopp. Man City 8, Watford. They should have stopped this game, bro. Do you, they literally, should they I'm be not, a rule like that? No, no they're, like, this Slot was ball? not fair. Uh, you know what? Immersive no, rule. Five, five goals. If you didn't watch this game, shame on you. I feel this, like this, is, this was almost a historic game. Nine nil is the record for Man United against Ipswich yeah. years ago, but five goals in eighteen minutes, man. Like I saw the first goal, I walked out of the room. I was gone for a couple of minutes. I can't. <laughs> what the hell just happened? 
Another like, goal. Kevin De Bruyne back into this team, instant impact, man. You see the quality of this guy. He had so much possession, so, so many, many crosses. Touches. Dude, his crosses. Oh, what, it, boy. Watching Man City is like watching Man United like ten years ago. No, it's not. No, Man City's better. Watch. I feel like they're better. They're new and improved. I know. But what I'm you just mean. saying. About the, 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 about the, the speed of play, the crosses into the box, the overlapping, just the the, the fluidity. That is United. Like they, it looks like it felt. It feels like I'm watching United. Relentless pressing, hunger. They have it all. Especially coming off that loss, man. This is a vengeance game. Look, they have a they have a championship mindset. So I think in we questioned we questioned it last time with yeah. the loss. But it, 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 it woke him up. Yeah, no, I think... And here's what I want to say earlier. This happens every year with Manchester City. It happened last year. I don't remember. I forgot what game but it, it was. But it didn't happen the year before. But they won like 6-0. They were like, you know, it was a little bit close, a little bit close. And then they like thrash the team 6-0. And then it is fucking... After that, it's like everything's clicking. So we'll see if this will be the launching pad for Man City to sort of turn it around in league play. And, um, and stay undefeated. Because so far, Liverpool's been fucking undefeated. But... Dude, the impressive thing with the City team, like we say, depth, man. David Silva on the score sheet. Mares on the score sheet. Aguero, Bernardo Silva, Nicolas Otamende, um, yeah. KDB. Well, the first five were six from five different people. First five were from five different people. Yeah, but dude. in a way, in my mind... Bernardo Silva with the hat you know trick, bro? Like, that's very impressive to do the on. five. That's probably the most impressive that I've seen uh, personalized. Live. Personal eyes? My personal eyes. My, per- my, my personal, personal eyes. eyes. My, my own personal eyes. Watching one. Well, yeah. okay, right. Something add, some add in words. What about your non point is? <laughs> you don't want to know where my non-personal eyes are. They're not that personal. So anyways, <laughs> the point is, because they <laughs> didn't get the public. record, eh. Because what, they didn't beat the 6-0 at... No, no, the 9-0 nine, nine, nine. Nine uh, oh. United versus Ipswich in back in 1994. They needed 10 to make a statement for me. They, oh, 8 wasn't enough for nope. you? Nope. <laughs> That's forgettable. Ah. This is the most goals. You know what? what? 15 years from now, 15 years from now, it's forgettable. Guess what isn't? The record of 9 nothing United. Oh, wait. It's 25 years later. Dude, I, see what, you, about I see what you're saying, but bro. 25 years later, we're still you, talking about you We're not going to be talking about goals. We're not going to be talking about City versus Watford. 8 nothing. No. Yeah, we might no, be. No, but I tell you, City you know, Watford. This is, City Watford. Like, this is like he's, he's trying to bring them down even though they're up. Like, yeah, no, they are up. Yeah, you're trying Just to find not that negative. Much. They're up by eight, I want not you, ten. I want, I want you to keep that energy, bro. I want you to keep that energy for City versus Liverpool later on in the season. Oh. Everyone for Liverpool has that energy. Ooh. Klopp trained us. I don't think so. Dude, Watford, though, absolute shambles. After making that comeback victory against Arsenal last week, they honey-dicked all of comeback us. Comeback victory or comeback, comeback, comeback draw? draw? Hey, right. slow down, uh, United. Hey, that's how bad down. it's got. Right. That's how bad it's got. It's an L's on us. It's a victory. Oh, what, well, kind of, but you got the same amount of goals as the mm. other team. Uh, but more victory, thinking, though. Thinking, you know what? They got smacked 6-0 in the FA Cup. New manager balance is real. They, they probably will lose this game, but like they'll keep it close. Bro, five goals in fifteen minutes. I was like, my no. bro, my little brother's a big hey, city fan. Text me hey, after every goal. Do you want to know? Do you want to know? You want to know when you're a problem for your team? When? When you get subbed out on thirty three minutes? Oh man! Or whatever. Poor no. D- Dimitri. Uh, Fou- yeah, Dimitri Fulgier making his debut for the club. Harsh. Lost his man on the set piece. Three got, times. Got, yeah, yeah. He, man, he was he was all. Here's the, place, the thing, guys. Go ahead, Are you, you, you done? I'm getting there, bad, but I guess bad. I'm done. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Yeah, there. Finish up, finish no, up. No, no, that's it. That's the gist of it, man. No, he. Get, I mean, he got subbed out after the fifth goal, and or, or after the fifth goal. But man, like this, Harvey, uh, Harvey Garcia, KK Sanchez Flores, man, brought in for his defensive prowess, dude. If you looked at this, like Man City loved to cross the ball, whether it's an in swinger or a fucking straight up cross from with the dominant foot. Nor uh, Wat- Watford was so goddamn narrow, it was ridiculous. They, 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 gave, they, the, the, they the, 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 the channels down um, down both sides of the field were wide open the whole game. And to give it a best crosser in the world, Kevin De Bruyne. I mean, dude, so I much time. Dude, I'll say this one for like three years, dude. This dude picks out like the pace he puts on it, the direction, and then he's able to pick people out too. Like it's absolutely so, insane. This is where this is probably the epitome of where Watford is right now of rehiring the manager that couldn't get it done for you two years ago. <laughs> Look, we all know I love his style, looking good. You get this guy. Yeah, you got a crush on him. You got a crush on him. Yeah, I'm a little jealous. I'm a little jealous. You know, you got a cr- like crush on him. <laughs> Problem is, though, not once, but twice, he's showing that he can't coach in this league. Oh, and I'm saying that with all due respect because that, he can coach no somewhere respect. else. You guys can break up? All due re- he can't well, coach in this first off, league. First off, no one tell him I said that. Let's say. Okay, so second, second. But the thing is. Didn't he help stay, no. up, stay, stay up for like a year or two? Cool, oh, yeah, but watch right now. He came up, he was the dude with them. 
But Watford's just, in shambles. Look, Watford have no back line whatsoever. Dude, for fantasy but wise, again, I knew, though, I knew you're in relegation and you bring in the guy that couldn't get it done for you the other day, uh, few years ago. Dude, that's this is what policy. they do. Watford, they just rotate managers. Watford are like Chelsea. They like the announcer said it during the or the commentator said it during the game. I'm like, sure we could. They're like Chelsea. They like to sack their managers. With their own Where's game. Harry Houdini when we need him? Um, this guy. My big problem with, with, with Flores. Don't you dare say hey right now. <laughs> my, oh, my God. If he wasn't retired, man, this Why is, retire? He would come in, like, October. Like, come bring him in. Come he, out of retirement. Bring him in now. Dude, he, he would be, he'd be, he'd the, be savior. the savior. <laughs> Harry Houdini, baby. I think Al can sleep tonight. I, th- I think he needs to retire. No, let him have till Christmas when they're really fucking hey, in the muck in the mire. Think about Fucking that. 10 points from safety. Then you bring Harry well, in. Well, you have to bring him in because then he gets to play against Chelsea. That one game he gets to coach oh, against his nephew. Lamps. That'd be fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. That'd okay. be amazing. Um, but my big full circle. But my big, full this is you go. circle. My big problem with Flores is he's not playing his best player. He just refuses to put his best player in. Which Don't is? tell me Dini. No, Roberto Pereira. Pereira. He's their best player. That the who has that. the silk, he can shoot. By the way, Otamendi got burned on that one shot that they had on target. Got burned by De Lafayou. Yeah, dude. De Lafayou burns most. Yeah. Pereira, he can play on the wing. He can play in the middle. He can play defensive. Yeah, but who are you playing against? You got to look at it no. tactically. Look, the, literally, they were saying that this dude, I look at Kike tech. Sanchez Flores, was drilling defense throughout the week. Let's be come back. Let's be come back. And it was shambles. What I want to say earlier well, is, what did he end look, up, what did he sometimes, end up snacks, 30, 30. sometimes you run into the bully at the wrong time. You ever run into the wrong dude yeah, it doesn't at mean, the wrong It doesn't mean time. much. It's just a loss. You had a bad day. He had a worse day. Man City lost to Norwich last week 3-2. You don't think they were fucking fired up? Like, After they had 30 chances. Dude, and Watford, they, they were a little bit riding high. with Okay, the 1-1 against Arsenal. Two, they two, showed hard to come one. back. 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two. Two, two, whatever, man. Oh, um, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah it was a tie, the, though. You thought it was that, a dub. That's, that's nah, nah, but it wasn't. Yeah. Two, two. Anyway, sometimes you run into these teams at the wrong time. And Watford, I, this was the worst possible timing for I Watford to run that. into Man City. I understand City. that, but like... Any, any team... Any team was going to get it. Any team was going to get it. If United played Man City, five minimum, if dog. United played Man City, it'd be four or five nothing. Liverpool would have probably taken the L, I think. It would have been close, but I Whoa. think. Oh, hold on. Before we get into this can of water. You never. Okay, I was stuck. I was stuck into my computer for a moment. Yes, but, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay, relax. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Good. So, just hold on. He starts a guy who's never played in the league before, and Dimitri Fulkier, whatever his name is. It's absolutely dusted, and then he puts Pereira on anyways. He puts he brings okay, him on for a defender. So what was the point? Look, because Pereira again, like when you go I into it as a manager, you're like, what? we're why gonna Will, give up possession to Man City. Why Will Hughes over Roberto Pereira? Like, I mean, he can do what Will Hughes does, but better because Pereira doesn't defend as much as yeah, Will Hughes, right? So Pereira is a mainly attacking player. So better here. So is Will Hughes? I don't know. Yeah, but Will Hughes is more balanced. Just because he's more attacking doesn't mean he's not more defensive than right Pereira, dude. Had? Who's the right guy that they had on the right? That guy sucked, too. They yeah, he had a bad game, bro. That's the dude that um, I was talking about or I was talking about who got subbed out. Dude, I agree with you. No, you no, wanna, no, he was playing right back, but want, the guy was playing right wing. Kike Firmino or whatever. Bro, Look, why? He's been playing. He's been playing. Look, you want to play your best players. I agree with you in that regard. But sometimes as a manager, I've seen Emery do it. I've seen Klopp do it. I've seen Pep do it where you set up for the op- opposition. You're like, look, they're going to... They're going to dominate possession. We need guys who can sit in, defend, and then hit on the counter. But look, um, I agree. you got to play your best plays. Flores learned the hard way that you should be part of the he, Dude, he's learning the squad or relearning the squad. You know, it's um, like basically the same team that he had. But dude, you got to you got to weed it out. You got to get personalities. You got to get everyone reality. You got to get everyone checked. I mean, it's embarrassing for him. They won't well, be the same right, until they play. Uh, until Troy Deeney comes back. And honestly, to be fair, I don't care who you could put. Fucking Paley on this field. Watford's not winning this game. <laughs> okay, but I Watford. That, but like, I'll, tell, I'll tell you who is winning the game. Oh, no, Sudo. wait, time on time oh, before, before, before we move on, man. Not only was this a perfect scoring and a comeback for Man City, not was, perfect score. Ten, ten, nothing would have been perfect. What, what I say when I what, earlier when I said I, I felt like I was watching Man United because, dude, we used to drug teams. Fucking, we got three, four. Then you put on fucking whip a snip a fourteen year old Timmy, whatever his name is, you know, because <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter. The game's gone. Like you have to have games locked away. Dude, and the then Phil he, fought him. He didn't make an appearance, did he? No, but I mean, they had an eighteen year old fucking Garcia came on center back. What the hell was his first name? Eric, of course. This is a perfect game for that, dude. Another guy, fucking left back came on, so they got no left back. Phil phone. Jesus fucking Christ, his phone will stop going off. Uh, fucking uh, Angelino came on. Oh, your boy. 
He's like 22, man. Had a couple nutmegs down the line. Good ball into the box. But, dude, this, like, you, you, gotta, you, you, gotta, you gotta create the environment. Academy sold to PSG. You gotta create yeah. the environment we can bleed guys on and not have it affect you or affect the results. And Man City have that. And this is a perfect game for it. The clean sheet hey, got so, hurt. He was also on loan at MLS. Who? Angelino. Angelino. I only know that because when I was the Revs in FIFA career, I had to look for some players. NYFC. Dude, he's nice. He was NYFC. one of them. Wait for this guy. Yeah. Watch this guy's face. I'll double check. Man, I C- Man City now 18 uh, points up. Goal differential. This is where they kill Liverpool right here. Goal differential through the fucking roof. Yeah. Yep. And 2015. T- New York City. And it's already, man. It could be five, two points, or, uh, five points behind Liverpool. But Man right. City, man, Keep- back with it. So you were you were in the middle of your celebration? Keep going, Tom. Uh, yeah, so, bro. Oh, so hey, is Watford uh, out? And two points. Yeah, is Watford out? I'm not ready to say Are that. They done? Yeah. No, I'm not ready. It's, it's too match, soon. It's match day five. Bro. It's too soon, bro. They'll probably and get a new manager. And Troy Deeney hasn't six. been playing. Match day six, by the way. Oh, Troy Deeney has That's not been six, playing really? because he's been injured. Yeah, he's been. Yeah. So wait until the yeah, captain. Time flies when you're not winning. Pereira, De La Feu, <laughs> and uh, and Deeney. Those are the three. And Capu, man, Capu's a solid dude. Decorey, this team will bounce back. Well, they get relegated. They have relegation all they're over. They're close, though, man. They, they're in like trouble, relegation. dog. They're in trouble. But um, Arsenal 3, the villains of Aston Villa 2. Hey, they pray and pray on our downfall. They really do. And this are PFC you, group, are you, are you looking at yeah, I look right at you, bro. <laughs> I look right at you, Snacks. Because you guys stay praying on Arsenal's downfall, man. Oh, you guys are shite. Bro, you guys are shite. You guys just, got no heart. Say, oh, you guys' defense is weak sauce. When you sauce. say sh- stuff like Shaka's like a good midfielder, I'm just like... I never said that. Yeah, you said that, Not bro. this year. Last year you did. Yeah, all right. I'm not living in last year. <laughs> I'm living in the present, son. Read the no, power of now. No, this is an now. impressive comeback. In the first half, Ainsley Maitland-Niles with the mayor. And he goes off injured on top of the red card. I mean, literally. And when I first John McGinn insult. scored early. And then Jack Grealish, you know, after Nic- Nico Pepe got the penalty, of uh, Guendouzi... Weaving his way in. When I first the- saw that, I thought maybe Niles is the one that got injured and someone else got the right card. But me then too, I just realized dude. it was like double whammy. Oh, me oh. too, bro. Bellerin's healthy next next game. Exactly. Look, Kieran Tierney, Hector Baron coming back at the right time. Um, look, everyone thought David Arsenal's Louise, still at healthy. Home. That's good. <laughs> Arsenal at home again. Look, he wasn't bad this game. Uh, how about that? Uh, was uh, the first goal or the second goal? Was it that him and uh, Gattuzzi, whatever his guy name is? Gattuzzi? Learn his fucking name, all right? Because you're going to be out of the league. You know who he is. Two years. The next ten years. Two years. You guys are hating him. I hate him. You just hate him because he's like, you know what? This is fucking better than McDominay. But I can tell you right now, the guy went right between you guys. I was talking. That wasn't good. I was talking to my cousin, my cousin Neil, about about Gondozi, big Arsenal fan. Yeah. And uh, I, I was I was I was getting in on because I hate him. But I did But I was I was more I was more civil than I am here. You know. Yeah. You're and a little rowdy. Neil's he, a big he, dude. Neil's he, a big dude. He is only <laughs> he is yeah he is only twenty. So you gotta take that into effect. But dude, this guy's played. This is his, like he played a full season last year. Played yep. a bit before that. Now this is his third campaign where he's now he's involved. Yep. And like he's dude, the second like, campaign. I'm saying he has made no improvements where he needs like he's like he's better than Shock out. The mistakes he makes. Improvements. I like okay. him. I, I actually oh, like he's him better than But dude, he, his immaturity, like his dude, immaturity on the ball, imma- is ridiculous. immaturity on the ball, dude. He won the penalty and set up the second goal. What about the what positives? Look at the negatives. Look, here's the negatives. This is the first time he's done anything positive. That's not true. Life. North That's North 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 Clearly, whenever I out, I won't even say gas up because I don't think it's gas with Gendozi. But whenever I believe in an Arsenal youngster, everyone loves to shut it down at PFC. Oh, the ragging joke is, oh, Tom, he's got potential to be special. Do you guys see the fucking potential in this kid? Special. Look, he's got moments, he said right? Special. And we'll see. Yeah, special. I've said he has potential. He's not Mbappe. Mbappe's special now. You said potential special. He has potential to be potential special. special. I believe. He said Iwobi was special. You're yeah, he said a lot, yeah, of guys. and I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. I can be wrong, but, but, but I can also be right. But and I've tra- been right before oh, in the oh, past. Where, where's the track record? Where have you been right? I've been right when Bappy called that dude. Oh, dude, call that dude. Doesn't even count. I've been right when Bappy. Oh, there you go. When I get it right, it don't count, right? Because he's like it the next count. Pele, man. Uh, anyways, all right. Anyways, anyway, continue, what I'm continue. saying about Gondozi is, you see his inexperience. He doesn't track McGinn, who's doesn't he's a runner the from the midfield. David Luis is giving him shit because really it was between Kolasanich. Kolasanich was the dude who could have picked up and switched with that midfield runner. But all in all, that's mainly on Mateo Gondozi. Got to track the midfield runners into the box. I mean, he, he McGinn gets it. a little lucky. He hits with like the outside of his left shin. Whatever. Fucking gets a goal, dude. 
But you see Mateo Guendouzi dragged us back into this game, dude. Like, we're down a man. We lost Ainsley maitland Mild. He's the guy Ainsley driving Miles. forward. Yeah, yeah. He's the guy driving forward from midfield. He's the dude To be fair, diagonal that's kind balls. of depressing from the villains. You'd, what? You're up a player, and they still score two goals on it. But, to be fair... Uh, yeah, one of the best attacks in the league, man. Yeah, but you're, yeah, a you're down a player. Man. And, and you're Nicholas all, Pepe. You're shaky, so, Chambers, shaky, shaky. Chambers has done more in one half for Arsenal than David Luiz has all season long. He at least got a goal to win a game for Arsenal. Nah, he tied the game. Well, I'm saying he got a goal, which... Look, uh, I was saying, I got, so does that mean David yeah. Luiz should sit down and Chambers should stand up? Maybe. Hell no, bro. Maybe. Hell. Dude, David Luiz has made two crucial errors. You know, he only, he Maybe only, he another only one. He three penalties on his 160 appearances at Chelsea, too. He yeah, but, two for Arsenal but he's a goofy six. defender. He's, he's a goofy defender, and especially at this age. When he Dude, was at he, Chelsea, he was in his he's prime. He's just old, man. Yeah, he, he's not in his prime anymore, and not being in his prime has really affected his decision. Not decision-making, but Should've you got to do stuff. You can use that half-step, man. You're slower. And, dude, he's... <laughs> No. What? Nah, he's trying to I rail me. I said you should have put Mustafi in. Dude, he on on Shaka. Look, wait. This wasn't what was this that, wasn't on Shaka like on dogs. Let me ask you this. Here's what the most impressive thing to me about this game is. Yeah. You lost your. You got the red card in the first half. Yep. What the fuck did Unai Emery say at halftime to get to Will? Because what about the I, subs? I knocked nothing. Unai Emery a shit nothing. ton. Nothing. Nothing. He said nothing. It was a bombing. Aubameyang probably did all the speaking. He probably did all the hyping. Nah, bro, you got to give him props. He brings in Willock, props to Aubameyang, brings bro. in Chambers. You, you were just, you were just um, slobbing all over Callum's nuts right now. Brings on Callum Chambers. Brings on Lucas Torreira. Yeah, they impact bring on, this game. Takes off, off, takes off Saka. Shaka. Look, takes off Granite Shaka, which yeah. he, he always starts him. So it's good that he recognized the crowd. Actually cheered and jeered and clapped when Shaka got subbed off. And as soon as he did, the entire dynamic of the midfield so changes. Better than he also so better than Herrera. Yep, he signed off. Uh, uh, he uh, took off uh, Danny as well. And look, the that's kid, your boy. The kid's that's your boy. Who? Danny? Who? Sabios. Sabios. Yeah, that's your did. boy. Look, that is my boy. But Shock is not my boy. What about? Right? What about? So everything the, changed without him. So I guess you don't need uh, Danny. Why? No, why are you going to Danny? No, I'm talking about Granite Shaka. You're, I you're know, just, but they both came off. So you're just, maybe I'm focused on Shaka. Both of them. Wait, wait, hold no, on. No, what, it's what Shaka. What's the other kid's name? Saka. Who scored in the Europa League Saka. And had two earlier? Yeah, so yeah, you, the kids on I fire. Give I, him the start. I, I I'm figured, not mad at that. I figured he should have started. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm not mad at that. The kids rolling. I like that. When Alex Oxford so was he, rolling at so Arsenal, he, he wouldn't get the so start. Saka started. Saka started, dude, oh, I, and he I did. He, you know who didn't start? He's on the left wing. Ozo. <laughs> Is he gone or what in January? Mm. He started the North London derby. Who's willing to buy him? We're trying to sell him off in the Not summer. Not his mom. No one. Oh man. <laughs> Damn, bro. No, but no. If your mama don't want you. Saying, back to what I was saying. Oh, about you know bad. I, I've uh, I've slated him in the like past for tinkering for for picking players out and changing the system and stuff. But you got to hold your hands up and applaud him after this game because. Who Bobby Yang? Yeah, he did good. Look, Emery. Emery in- stop sucking Bobby Yang's dick. I get it. Why? Why? Emery Why? made the substitute. Why? Bro, he's saying it was all a bombing and not Emery. Oh, okay, okay. That's okay. my point. Like okay. Emery had a role to play. He made the yeah. Right he subs. put a bombing on the field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> flat tire right there. Stack. Don't let him catch you with a flat tire, bro. It's just but look, Aubameyang's Yang, been ridiculous, guys. Sixteen goals in sixteen games. Not Emery. Sixteen goals. In, so we're gonna talk about Harry Kane, the best striker. Da-da-da. Not even. We got talked competition, about it. mate. You got say, some competition. Yeah, Aubameyang's better than Aguero. Hey. North maybe. London Derby. Right now? Tom, North maybe. London Derby, when we went after it. You listeners heard it from me. He, Harry Kane wasn't even the third best striker on the field. It was Lacazette Stop and Aubameyang above Stop Kane. Wait, they yeah. all had a goal that game, right? Uh, Pepe had a, I think Pepe had a not, 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 not Pepe. I'm talking, okay. about, I'm talking about Harry Kane. Kane had a penalty. Had yeah. Fuck Spurs. Spurs, had don't a PK. Had a Spurs don't belong in this. Lacazette had this. one goal. Kane had Harry a goal. He had a PK. Still a goal. Goal's a goal. Goal they don't count goal. differently, do they? Goal is a goal because Nicholas Pepe got his first goal in this game. Yeah, it was a PK. Uh, 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 give it a fist so, bump. So. Give it a fist bump. Look. So Lukaku's still going to have What I want to say is... No, no. That's the same amount of goals as Dan James, bro. Who? No, dude. That Gendozi penalty was bullshit. And? He had three goals. Dan James has three goals. Uh, what well, was three 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 goals? Goals? Did you do to you, Al? I'm just saying, man. <laughs> oh, my God. He's still going after him. He's still going after him. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You hate us here. I'm not coming. I'm, a, I'm not coming after him on on that. I'm coming after the ref and consistency. No, it's not 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 him. Just if it was anyone else, because he just jumps. 
because he just jumps. Dude, he pushes it by the guy. The guy is out of position. Was, he grabs him. It he was an embellishment. Down. It was an embellishment. Dude, if you don't go down, you don't do it. Dude, he PK. jumps. No. He crumpled the fucking like a tissue that you fucking throw in a. In a was there contact, mate? Dude, I only say this because what game was it? It happened this weekend, man. Shoulder to shoulder contact in the box. Guy went down, and it was nothing because it was nothing. Yeah, but this was something. He put his foot in front There's of There's no bro. consistency, a, man. Look, man. I'm just saying, man. I think you got a personal vendetta against Mateo Guendouzi for whatever reason. No reason. Um, but either way, dude, Arsenal, to me, what I said when we first signed Emery, we're going to score goals and you're we're going to have heart. We're going to have fighting spirit. And, you're and so shit. far, he was on the ground that. before he even stepped in front of him. Like, he was, ju- he was diving. Okay, and the dude pushed it by him. He pushed it by him. Why is that man? Why are you tugging my jersey? PFC Nation, you watch. Say no tug jersey. Right in, shit. please. Yeah, um, right in, bro. Look, man, this. At the end of the day, guys, right? I don't want to like. I'm happy of the result, but if you look deeper into the performance, it was not a good performance. We should have put Aston Villa away. This is if we're if we're flying high, we beat them four one four two was the original score that I predicted because I knew we're gonna leak some goals in there. At home too. Um, but yeah, and we keep a man. So the overall performance, it was good that we got the result. We showed character, but this these are teams we should be putting away here. Uh, but again, I'm glad that the boys... They, we got heart, man. Is That's that the one thing I'm proud goal? of. Yeah, yeah, Pepe. His first goal, right? It's his first goal, oh, It doesn't man. count that it was a PK. Apparently, so, PKs don't count anymore. Is it if you go to the stats? No, no, no. I mean, they do count Premier the same League. way com. on the stat sheet. But to say hey. that Harry Kane is scoring the goals like Aubameyang this year is ridiculous. And oh. here's the thing I love about Aubameyang. He steps up for the free kick. Remember when I called out Eden Hazard? I'm like, if you're the fucking best player on your team, dude, there's those moments. We know Aubameyang's not a free kick specialist. How many free kicks have you seen him take? But in the right moment, hey. nine in seconds, who's going to step up and be the man? Hey. Once the again, I have not seen from Eden Hazard that, yet. Not only that, he steps up to be the man for his teammates. Last year, Lacazette gave him the penalty. Thank you, Huss. Who takes penalties for Arsenal? Aubameyang. Who took it today? Nicholas Pepe. Pepe. Why? Because he needs to get a goal under his belt. Aubameyang is He's a leader. true class when it came, comes down to right, uh, yeah. his leadership. He did say he was going to win the Golden He's Blue. a leader, man. He's a leader. And we need more. We need more guys like him. I just love that we questioned this guy, not doubting, not doubting, but we questioned it before he came to England. Like, you know, oh, I, mean, I did it. No, no, no. I said Liverpool. But, and you guys were like, oh, is he going to play? Really? Anywhere. Can I, can, can, goal. Can, I, can I finish, can I finish the thought for once? Just got all over it. Jesus Christ, man. You, you, but, <laughs> you hit the first thing you can snap at and you snap at it. We were judging or we were, we were nah, I wasn't judging. Oh, I was judging. The fuck up, dude. <laughs> Why well, no one had gone in for this guy yet? You know, was was he the real scoring forty goals a season in all comps? Like, why is no one going after this guy? Why year after year? He did three, four, five years in a row of thirty plus, sometimes forty goals a year. But and, I mean it's, he's proven himself, man. Like Zlatan coming coming over, you prove yourself to the beast. He's, He's my golden boot this year. He's fucking well on his way. He's world class, man. And if you want to look at form, I mean, he's the the best best striker in the the league right now. If you want to look at form, like, come on, bro. Aguero's got eight goals, though. I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty damn big as well. Pookie's got seven. But and Tammy, can you consider the workload and who who you're working around? Talk about Tammy when we talked about Chelsea and Liverpool. Oh, because he disappeared. And Tiki, where you at, bro? I was actually thinking about the VAR and like how Chelsea, you know, Aspie got the goal, but then he didn't get the goal, and then mm. VAR making another statement in another big game. Yeah, mm. well, they got it right though, those. as long as they got it right. That's what I love. Of those this weekend, um, Tyrone Mings, man. Oh man, he's my a guy. Beast, dude. I love him, but man, he set up his left back in this game. He like nodded the ball down in the box to try to get the left back to clear and then it. Callum Chambers, that's when he scored, right? Yep, that was a, the, the Chambers chip, goal. The chippy. So I look, I love Mings. I love what he's been doing this year, but um, and I, and, I, and I do want him at Arsenal. Um, but man, he's got to learn from those type of stuff. He Next game, boys. Too. Leicester versus oh. Shitspurs. Hey, Unless you had something else, this is I part, forgot it's the game of the weekend. Who, this was we won. Was it Kush, um, Kalazantic, uh Whatever. Who, who was it that? Who was that? Like that was holding onto someone's leg. And Socrates, fi- and then and he was like, "Get off Wesley. me, get off me!" Then finally, try to step over. And he's like, holds his face. He- they need to put this league needs to have put those guys in they- jail. No, no, they need <laughs> look, put them in jail. You know, you know my rules that before in the past, you I wish we- that if someone just blatantly dove or, or 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 embellished, yeah, we they the get to be punched in the face once by the other team's choosing. Just one free shot, just one free shot in the face. But obviously, that's gonna that's illegal. I think the league needs to put these people on blast. Socrates. If you're faking, make yeah, a... Socrates might be worse than David Luiz. And I'm talking about Maybe. having an award for them. Worst 
the dive of the year. Just so you put these people on. Shame like them. The shame them to death. Just shame, like, like the Razzies. Like the Razzies. Just yeah. shame these people to death. Best dive why in you, September. Why, why are you looking Best at me like that? Di- because you'd be the one to dive. Oh. Best dive. How do you know that? Because you're the fucking embellisher. <laughs> <laughs> So we, got like a, Riddler, like we got the Riddler, we got the Joker, like we got the Embellisher. Hey, watch out for Batman. He's quick, He's coming for you. Batman, watch out. All right, let's move on. Leicester 2, uh, Tottenham, Hotspur, living up to their name, um, and losing, taking the L. Oh, Harry Kane. Oh, okay. uh, never mind. He, he got a goal. Oh, cool. Yeah. Did you not, see? Hold not on. enough. Pause, pause, pause. Not enough. Pause, pause. No. Uh, he did his part, but pause. Yeah, and after that game, after that goal, Harry Kane went on pause. Maybe another player... Bar Ronaldo and Messi, who can score while falling face first. Ryan Hussey. Me. Pierre Aubameyang. Yeah. Nah, did you, have you seen it? You we got just, evidence? We just saw all the players. You got, you Money. Money. For me, no. You got evidence, you, bro. You want yeah. me to just keep going? Give me, give me a game. Our, just our league, just that team, what are we talking Because we can probably name 40 strikers give me that one. can do it. Give me one. Snacks. The, Lukaku. I hate, I hate. Show me. <laughs> ah! Show me. Show me. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, I was but, going. I was but, going. Uh, by the Dude, way, I can't way. stand how it was blown this out of proportion, man. The guy fell and kicked the ball. Like, okay. Cool, that's his job. The no, awareness, no, no. It was a quality bro. finish, guys. Dude, it was. It was. Guys, but, it was, dude, it was he didn't finish. reinvent the wheel. No, he didn't. We've all, didn't fallen, either. We've all fallen like that no, and made a pass. The reason I bring it up is because Huss went too far when he was just like, he's not better than Firmino. And listen, I think Roberto Firmino is world class. But at the same time, he's just not level with Snacks, how long is a soccer game? 90 minutes. Okay, when when was that goal that Harry Kane had? The 29th. 29th so when minutes. you're talking about the press and the pause button, after that goal, Harry Kane pressed his own pause button. Because he might as well <laughs> yeah. have gone home after the 29th minute goal he blames, because he, he didn't do anything after he, that. He, he blames everything that's wrong with Tottenham on Harry Kane. Look, no, no, Harry no, no, Kane no. got that like Fugues assist, right, that got called back due to VAR. As well, and that's when the momentum changed bullshit. in this game. That was a bullshit call. No, he was offsides by millimeters, uh, humming son. And look, this is what this is the part of the Angles, thing that, that whatever people don't they like. Didn't the angle. They've had angle they had lasers. Both. They've <laughs> had both versus Leicester and then versus City. You oh, agree? City yeah. They've had I both agree. sides, so they can't exactly complain. look. Man. Robbie Earl or Robbie Musto, one of those guys. After was like, "This is a bullshit call. I should have stood." Yeah, Sergio but Aurier they're not God. Him. They're not God. Sergio Aurier with the ping and then the Randy Orton celebration. Yeah, I would all have that for nothing, you Serge. Know, I'd rather have Son on my team than Kane. All right, I'd rather take Son. I wouldn't, but you wouldn't. No, no, no. You really way. just don't rate. No I, think, way, I think you're just trying to like poke at me with. No, no, strength. no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Harry Kane, not not the last couple of years. I'm talking about the new Harry Kane after the injury Harry Kane in the next couple of years after this. Still yeah, no, it, was, like, like, it wasn't that big of an injury. I mean, he was ankles, still scoring but, goals. I'll still say Harry Kane um, scoring goal mentality, goals. all goals. that. He's got multiple goals this look, season. And look, it was a quality finish, guys. It was a quality finish. But as far as Spurs, that's when the momentum changed. Spurs thought they were two two up. Everything was sweet. VAR, more so than ever, I've been noticing, just changes momentum. Everyone celebrates. Everyone gets excited. And the thing is, before, in the past, that would happen, but it was a quicker to, to reverse the call. I think what's happening now is the momentum stops. The ref walks over to review the footage. It takes a little bit longer. It's in the players' minds. Everyone's waiting like, okay, do I stay or do I go? What happens? And when that goal is not counted... It's like it's, it's just a, a bigger a, punch to like the a, gut. It's a stab. Yeah, it's, it's a stab in like, the liver. Kind of like saving a penalty. And Lester got Lester got on fire after that. Lester was like, "Oh shit, we're still in it." As a warning to Lester, we can't let runners get him behind. And dude, James Madison with a ping from probably best, of the box. probably best strike of the game. Oh my god, best goal of the game. If, if Hugo Reese yeah, is in, does he make that save? Because Hugo Reese, I believe, just had a, a child. Um, so he was out for this game. Pussy shit, bro. Be there for the game, bro. I don't. Gazaniga I, was the. I don't know, man. That shot was. It was moving a fair clip. Uh, man. It was right. Casaniga was close. Your reach would have been further away. I yeah. What's up? Tiki. Spurs suck. No, Madison. That was a legit um, shot. And again, we said it this summer. Or at least I said it this summer. This guy, he has one year maybe left with Leicester. Well, he resigned. Oh, he stayed with him for this year. Dude, this coming summer, Madison gone. United has is, to be gone. United is so thirsty for a player like James Madison, like Christian Eriksen, who again did not start in this game. Start. He preferred Ndombele over Christian Eriksen. Every time Christian Eriksen is not in the in the Tottenham Hotspur lineup, they do they're well, different. And well, Harry Kane as well. He doesn't see as much success, bro. You just honestly. took my you just took my point a little bit where they're very similar. Yeah. So when Eriksen leaves this coming summer, I wouldn't be surprised if Tottenham takes that money. Puts him to Madison and puts him on. 
That would be uh, nice. I don't think Why so. not? I think He's the next Erickson dude. I think United the same would way. outbid them. United would pay more money for Madison because we're that, we're that yeah, desperate. Would, if Erickson's we don't get on a champ- free, though, so would Erickson... This year? Yeah, he's got, he I, I believe he's got six months. Uh, oh, he's going to have six months Genu- left on his contract. In January, he's gonna, he'll sign with But would he go to Man United? Why? Y'all are trash. Are about, wait, wait, Why would you, you talking, go to Man United right now? I thought you were talking about Because crazy good money. Wages. You can buy like three houses. That's what it is. Yeah, it's wages. That's all you got. But what if United are around January, they're in eighth place? And Tottenham's in third or fourth. Dude, what if, what if, what if? Alexis sold his soul. Well, you never know about Christian Eriksen. I don't think he's that guy, though. I think Christian Eriksen has aspirations Christian, of Real Madrid he, and Barcelona. He, he wants to leave England. He doesn't want to stay in England. That's that's his point of trying to leave. Paris or Real Madrid are the bets that I have for him. So right now, Tottenham well, and United both seventh and eighth place scored. in this league. Danny so. Rose, what you doing, mate? Well, Harry Kane wasn't there. I mean, it's Harry Kane's fault that Danny Rose missed his marker and Ricardo Pereira put it in, right, Huss? <laughs> because Harry Kane's supposed to be Superman on this team. No, but if he's the best striker in the world, I would think that he'd be able to do something in 70 minutes. Do not against my boy fucking yeah. Soyuk. Soyonku. By the way, it wasn't even a top 16. The po- uh, so Sion- what, dude? Well, it happens, man. Top three, right? yeah, it happens. No, that was last week. That was After, last week. I was dude, thinking he caused a penalty this Defenders game make mistakes, man, but Soyonku... Is a fucking beast. He is. Like, I like better him. than Harry Maguire. How's he wants more tequila? Better than Harry Maguire. Yeah, we're, we're almost to United. Better than that. Better, <laughs> better than Harry Maguire. Yeah, better than Harry Maguire. <laughs> no. Oh, I took you a long up. time to respond. But to I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm tired, man. Yeah, I, I you're just, tired. He's I'm, tired. I'm still hungover. But no, dude, this guy is 23. But dude, play. I'm good, man. He plays like a man. He's he's huge. He's he's calm on the ball. He's good. I think Lester. Yeah, he's dude, dude, Le- Lester he broke Pop- Lester- ankle, bro, dude. in the box, dude. <laughs> so calm. You see his face? He's like this. I'm, I'm adding to this Yonku <laughs> shit. I'm trying to, you know what I mean? I'm hype man. I'm hype dude, man now. You sell Harry for $200 million. You know, you're bringing million? this guy instead. Million, but- Solid, man. The crazy thing is that I haven't seen fucking uh, Morgan in a while. Dude, he's done. Bro, dude, he's what's the a talk bottle about of captains. You're in Tillyman's. He was, I thought he was the full, him and James Madison were the focal points going they forward. They are. And Didi's a savage and I love that. Javi Bonds. Javi. Javi Bonds. Should have done work. more. Dude, Ben Chil, I'll take Ben Chilwell. I'll take James Madison at United. We need a left back. Dude, Ben <laughs> Chilwell is solid. I'll take Harvey He's yeah, way like better him. on the ball than Luke Shaw. I like him. Defends just as well. He's better, not, he's not, he does way less. He's I don't know. He's, he's just better across the board, man. Yeah, those are the two guys you have playing left back. Madison in the middle. Mata, you gotta go or something. I love Mata. What about Pereira? He's fucking. Well, put him shit. in the middle, dude. I, he's I don't know. Fucking no, no, shit. not not your boy Pereira, but the right oh. back of Leicester. Dude, no, no he's who's not scored? Who scored? scored? Yeah, okay. game winner. Another nice player. You know what? Honestly, no, no, this no, whole no. time when Madison we're talking about Tottenham, and no, I'm Madison just gonna, had the game winner. Well, well, mm. well. Yes, he did. He had. The, uh, yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, uh, Pereira had the goal, the tangle. But the the this whole time that we're talking about Tottenham, everything. I forgot Delhi was on the team. Yeah, I honestly forgot that he was on the team. Deli Ali, there was. A, I remember it was funny you mentioned that because I remember it was the 15, 16, or the sixteen, seventeen season. It was the season he had like eighteen goals or something in the league. And like eleven, an he, had, he had like sixteen and nine. There so was, it was pretty like, solid. Is Deli Ali like equivalent to or better than what Manchester United meets the Pogba? And I'm not trying to bring Pogba into this, of course not. Of course you are. But Deli Ali, from that article, is a slow. Either he's gotten injured or just hasn't played in form. I think it's hamstring. He's playing out of position like ninety percent of the time nowadays because he can't fit in with like he can't unseat Sissoko or uh, Ndombele. And Lamella's been the guy really who's taken a spot this year, right? But he's not a left. He's not a left midfielder. He's a, no. he's central. I know, but Lamella's been playing underneath. Lamella's been playing that attacking midfield role, typically where you see Christian Eriksen or, or Deli Ali, Ali with Son and Kane in front of him. And look, Lamella, dude, I'm glad my bro's not here um, to to hear this now. But Lamella's been pretty good. He's been pretty good. I'll listen to it. No, um, right. He's still going to get... I'll send you a text. No, I still think he's going to get hurt at some point. Oh, yeah, Like, sure. Luke Shaw, like, all right, dude, you've been good. You bomb up and down the left flank. <laughs> you get hurt dude, every time. Lucas Mora. Why does this guy not play? Must not be doing it Monday through Friday, bro. Talk Why? No. No, it's Pochettino. Doesn't do it. He'll score a hat trick in the semifinals. Yeah. Here That's not go. good enough to get go Here to the final. Go. Yeah, you're, you're, you're worried about practice? practice? You want to talk about I'd, I'd, I'd rather play... Practice? I'd rather play... Talk about practice. I'd rather, I'd rather never won a ring. <laughs> I'd rather play... Well, he's uh, carrying a, a horrible team on his back yeah. all the time. Well, if he went to practice, maybe he could have carried them a little harder. Cut out. Oh, kind of like Harry Kane. All right. This is why the episodes take five hours to record. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. gotta get your shots. Yeah, yeah. Hey, would you would you like uh, yeah. would you like Deli Ali on Arsenal? If no, he couldn't fit in. No, he sucks. No, if he couldn't, fit I, in. like I'd, I'd take him for sure. But we don't need another attacker, guys. Can Arsenal, for fuck's sake, get a, def- a defender or some defense? Like our attack Luis. is fine. Okay, David Luiz. Okay, I'm midfield could get better. David Luiz. 
Dude. Dude. You know what? In a strange world, maybe Madison goes to Tottenham, and then guess what? Lester buys Delhi to replace him. Right, yeah, you're That's wild. your world. Now, now you're That's your world. Um, I guess we have to get to <laughs> and it And you all just living in it. Oh, <laughs> drum roll, <laughs> drum roll. Uh, West Ham 2, Manchester United. Who? No. Who? Who? I, I, I smelled this coming, man. I, I was thinking... That's smell- bullshit, man. You smelled what? Who's all the fonts That's coming? bullshit. No, I was- Last week, you were gassing Harry Maguire. You were gassing Andres Pereira. Dude. The fuck, man? You can't say you saw this coming. I saw I saw 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, I was like, dude, I'm not, I don't feel... I still love these guys, but... I saw 1-1. Do, one, one. do you love them? Because I sense that's, a lot of that, hate. That's, that's not what I sense. It's, hey, it's a lot of frustration. Nah. <laughs> but, dude, yeah. the day before this game, I was like, you know what? Probably 1 1. West Ham kind of coming into form. form. Oh, ridiculous. Man. We're soft as fuck. We're away from home. Even at home, we struggle. How soft is the fuck? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I, go with I like that. that. It's real soft. It's a soft pound. No, but let's, soft get to pound. The, let's get to the, the nitty gritty of it. I mean,. The nitty gritty. The oh. nitty gritty. Coming off a pretty shitty win against us. Honestly, didn't even know Yamalenko was even still playing right now. Here we go. I did actually know he was on the team, but I didn't know he was actually playing. You thought he was And he still scores against you guys. And then it goes. Can we talk the, about that goal for the a second? The second goal, Cresswell, the player that Tiki and I thought was going to be on United at one point. Mm. The guy I shit on more than anybody on West Ham. Dude, he had two years. chances. He had one before this. Sky did. I was like, oh, Just man. adjusted a little bit. I was like, bit. thank God. Just. Thank God. Sense Second one, untouchable, dude. Anatovich who? Anatovich who? You don't need Anatovich. Dude, what about the first goal? Yarmolenko tucks it in there. Uh, well, this tucks is what happens. So, uh, Yarmolenko's in an offside position at the right wing. And it's Ashley Young's man at that point. But he's offside, so Ashley Young's like, fuck him. He's offside. He comes in, gets behind, and Ashley Young doesn't track him because he's trying to keep the shape. And Harry Maguire, he's right in front of Harry Maguire for like 10 seconds. And then as soon as he receives the ball off that sick little flick from Pipe... That's when Harry Maguire is like, oh, maybe I should start running forward. And then by too that late. point, it's too late. Too late. So Harry Maguire, so I'm not, I'm $90 million not, signing or $100 million. Finish, bro? Damn. Yeah, he fucked up. He he fucked up. But like at the end of the day, I wanted to get Al's thoughts on it because this is this is his boy. This is his man's. But listen, at the, that, that's a really shitty goal to concede. Like you look at the whole play and every part of that was avoidable. Just step up, man. That's your man. You see him coming in. You had time. I'm, I'm rewatching it now. So no, give me all a second. Alright, so uh, while Al's doing that, let's play the song. Really? You know it's sad when really you're celebrating a t- uh, Hey, whose song is that? Whose song is that? The moments? Yeah. 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 Not United? Oh, because you're not United anymore. The best part. Moral victories. The best part. Yeah, so there was a let's time. Go, Macarena. Ah, uh, forever Dude. blowing no, bubbles. Are no, you done, Tom? Uh, Pretty positive. bubbles in the air. All right, now I'm done. The the main problem. I don't think defensively. No, United's been done since August. Cross <laughs> 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 the main, main, main problem. Dude, I'm not, I'm not even gonna put this on Harry Kane. Like uh, Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Yeah. You know what? Let's play Harry Kane for this too. <laughs> Harry Kane sucks. Harry Kane sucks. <laughs> See, that's how you know it's as bad as United. That's how you know it's personal for us because he says no. I'm joking. I actually, I actually don't mind Harry Kane. Go ahead, Harry Kane. Worst voice in the world. Harry Maguire. <laughs> Tripped on your dick. <laughs> Harry Maguire. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, it's great moving off the ball, man. Ashley Young's gonna tell him. There's no communication clearly. But he sees him though. He's looking at. If he, if he runs from behind him, how are you going to see that run if he's behind you? Ash Young, hey he Harry, pops up in front of him. Like that's when you when you because he get he can receive. So he clearly, he time you've never been a, you've never been a center back clearly because uh, coming clearly. from that position, man, there's no time with one touch away from you, and then the next touch is a shot. By the time you no, see, no, no. But what I'm saying is, is he had time to receive it. That's my problem. Yeah, Malenko. Yeah, Sam Malenko. He should have pressed like as soon as he saw him coming in front of him. That's when he should have been like, all right. Let me get Dude, on. have you seen this? I'm goal? not saying it's. I saw the goal, but what I'm saying is, is like, and I'm not <laughs> shitting on him. I'm just saying, like, I yeah. felt like that goal could have been avoided. And but here's the problem: it's not defensively. Defensively, we kind of fucked up today, but we have less goals than we can see at this point last season. So you could tell our defense. You said it yourself. Yeah, sick. Time. Ask Middlesbrough about that. Yeah, they kept math clean sheets. So uh, we're uh, we're uh, starting 25 years. I mean, we can see right before halftime too. Uh, it's offensively. It's going forward. Yeah, Bro, you guys off, suck. Andres Pereira, shit, he is not a good player. He's not a right winger. Dude. He's mm. not good. He's not good. Where is it? What is he? Is he a central player? Yeah. Why does he? Yes. If he was so good centrally, he would be playing over fucking Matic, 
who also nah, says, hey, but he's listen, a different player. Though, there's sometimes, man, you got to ask guys to do different jobs. Because I, and, and I understand that. But that's like, what, then, the, then what's the big confusion? He's like, not better than Mata. He's not be- like I right? would rather have 33 year old Juan Mata at right wing than Andreas Pereira. No. Yeah, Mata, Mata, Mata can't play. Mata, Mata was Mata, good Mata's, this game. Mata's in the hole, though. And I agree. Mata was decent this game, um, especially in the first half. He popped up right <laughs> moment. Good. Rashford. What about Bye him? On, bro. What about your boy? What happened? Nah, but you don't. You you don't. You got Rashford. You don't need Lukaku. You don't need. You don't need guys who are proven in the I league, bro. You're right out with 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 dudes like Rashford who had potential to be special. But this is a fucking big year for him. This is the yeah, first this, time. This when, is the make or break, man. This as, is it. As t- as I mean, he's got three goals, which is which isn't a bad return, but. Sorry, keep on. No, he's, he doesn't do enough, dude. And he picks up an injury in this game, gets subbed Boring. out. We had no subs on the bench, so Lingard had to come in. Mason Greenwood. Out Good, in. Good thing you let uh, Lukaku go. Can yep. I just fucking finish before you always interject? <laughs> I have not talked for like 10 minutes. All right, keep going. Keep because other people are having the... Anyway. I know. I've been silent. Uh, You're welcome. For fuck's sake, dude. <laughs> I just want to go home at this point. I really do. No, you don't. Uh, Mason Greenwood uh, picked up an illness, not in the team. Lukaku, obviously, Inter Milan, scored a goal this weekend. Good for him, bro. Um, Martial out injured. This nah, is but Martial sucks. Try to warn you. Martial sucks. Martial doesn't do anything for us offensively. You don't like Martial? No, I love Martial. He doesn't like Martial. Sell him. So there it is. Sell him. Mm. I'm kidding. Hey, sell him to Liverpool. We can't forget the point. Sell him to Liverpool. We can't we'll forget him. the point we'll, that we'll, we're missing we'll go to Martial and Martial this game. Um, I definitely think that, that obviously plays a factor. You're missing two of your best players on the... But you guys, the, when you've had dude, them, you guys have out. sucked away. But, but besides that, besides the players we've missed, in the first half, this made me sick. I, I almost turned the TV off like five times during this game. I watched it all the way to the end. I, I After the second goal, I almost shut it off. I fucking struggled through. I watched the whole thing. I was, <laughs> well, yeah, I was done. Minute. Anyway. You might as well shut it off. Fucking four minutes in, I see. Four minutes in, I want to shut it off because the ball's in the box, our own box, whatever. We lump it clear to half. And it's four guys from West Ham passing it, and no, no striker, no, no one's up there, no pressing. Nobody was up. We're all just sit, sitting deep. Who do you so we don't, we don't have the players. We're just gonna, we're just gonna fucking park the bus right out of the gates. Who do you, who do you, who do you, who do you blame for that? Huh? Who do you blame? Ole, for? dude. It's the tactics. But here's the thing: when Jose, does it, when Jose does it, it's fine. But when Ole does it, it's just, it's here's my, th- here's my thing. About. Here's Jose, my thing. That was how we played away from home against everybody. We're pack we're it in. Under and hit on the counter. I, in my mind, it's still more personnel than it is managerial. Thank you. That's I, like for the longest you guys have been shitting a, on the it's manager. Getting, it's getting to a point, guys. Who's to blame? The, the players. players. You don't have balance. And actually, you know what? To be fair, I won't even blame the players. I'll blame the board for not bringing in the right players. Yeah. Which also you can say the managers that fall too. But when you're switching managers every two years, you can't get a good basis of who you need. Because when the re- regime changes, it is different systems. So... Dude, Ole, Ole, is Ole, 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 Ole has no system. Why would Ole, Ole has play no system. the old system if he's trying to identify... Like, his system, up until literally this... He has younger players. No, 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 no. Fuck he has that. younger players. He's not the same as that player. Because against Leicester last week, we pressed the shit out of them and we won. That's bullshit. That's literally the most stupidest thing I've ever heard. Why would, Why are you paying West Ham this respect? Why? It's West Ham. You're away from home. Fuck that shit. It's that, West that, Ham. That should yeah. be a factor, though, man. Like, it's who- West Ham. You know, like, Leicester, I get it. They're pushing. They have heavy investment. Tilly Mons and Didi, Madison. They are Javi Bonds on the left. Jamie Vardy, I get it. Great. Totally Even though it was at home, that's a much harder test than West, West Ham. Ham? Yeah. West yeah. Ham? Look, and I think that's fair. That's a fair criticism to look at how Ole came out tactically for this game. But overall, issues with Manchester United are the quality of your players. You've had two world-class players... Basically, since um, uh, Sir Alex has left, you've brought in some guys like Di Maria, who I still think is a world class player. They just haven't Fuck worked them. out. But it's again, it's there's no Pogba balance. And De Gea. It's, it's Pogba, the two work- De Gea, and then you just brought in Harry Maguire, who I don't think he's world class yet. I think he's but still like he he's there. got to prove some stuff. He has for the sure. ability to be top five in the league. Exactly, and it, but it's, it's dude, yo, look league. at quality. Jesse Lingard. What's up? What's up with your boy? Look, he score. He's gonna score against Arsenal. Watch when we fucking play you guys in like a week or so. But otherwise, he's not gonna do shit. He doesn't do shit. All right, all right. I'll, I'll, no, no, no. I'll talk about this Come right on. now because when we're talking about the City game, you were reminiscing about how United they would just like kill some teams, and then at the end of the game they'd throw on some younger players. Well, right now you're throwing these younger players on at the start of the game. You got no you choice. Exactly. Yeah, That's your problem right now. Where you don't have these top. Top Why end players. Nemanja and, Matic and old ass Juan Mata starting in fucking Manchester United. Juan Mata Why? Can start. Matic can. 
No, Mata's Mata, Mata, third. Dude, Mata, last year we've seen the decline of this dude. There was like, oh, when he first came into Man U. I, I, you guys need to break open the vault and start spending what I'm 150, is, 200 every you're, year almost. You're, you're, you have, we, if you're the, we, we, if you're the most spend, profitable team dude, in the world, we, we, you we can have the money. We basically spent that this summer on three yeah, players. On wrong people, <laughs> yeah. right? So, we'll see. Wrong? For the longest, wrong guys. Well, this no, year? This past no, season? No, I'm two, I think two of your guys have been hits. Um, Juan Basaka and Harry Maguire. Who's the third guy? Did no, you? no, Daniel James is fine for Linda me. Love, but Daniel, Daniel, Daniel right. James is fine. He's been good too. I'm talking about the years prior to this year. Yeah. There yeah was, that was bad recruitment. There was about five, year, poor five years of bus moves. Did we bus, bus. moves? Like, did we brought in Morgan Schneiderlin? Like, what kind of sign is that? Horrendous. You know what I mean? Did not work out. Darmian. Darmian was good hey, his first Dar- season. Darmian won it the was, Europa. He, he fell He was fell way to fall. He won Europa. That's like the NIT. Dude, he was a squad He was a squad player. What I'm saying is... He was a squad player. What I'm saying is... Brought in Martial, too. Well, well that's good. That, but he had Oh, a, Martial's not a hit? Hey, how about Depay? Was Depay? Hey, was Depay a hit? Depay. You can't blame us for Depay. was a Bali. Bali. Depay. Who's Depay? Di Maria. Who's Depay? You guys, Depay, Depay, Memphis, what, Memphis. Yeah, well, I forgot about him already. Bay, no, 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 I forgot no. him all, but I've been saying this when he's for good. I remember man. his name. You guys, you guys are, are fall, have fallen into the battered woman syndrome. Uh, where uh, you've been shit for well, so oh, long. Oh, that he was like Jesse Jesse person, person. battered person. Yeah, battered thank person. You. Thank you, Sin- husband. Thank you. Let's be politically for, correct. Clean it up because anyone can get battered. Man's like Phil. You've been standing up for dudes like Phil Jones. Standing up for dudes like Rojo, no. who's been who's eh, standing up? If he, well, my bro, he's not oh, here. Rojo. He's not here. Bro. But there have been other guys. Dude, there have been other I, guys. I, I, will, I, will, bro, I would have quote you, I would quote you, brother. Man. You were the biggest Lingard fan. Lingard, Lingard, I will, but. Phil Jones so or take Rojo. that out. Phil Jones or Rojo, don't don't associate hey, me. Okay, Chris Smalling, guys like that. I got this. I got this. Man, you're not my standard. I got this. What about the signing of Lukaku? I didn't back him. So it's a bust. I guess, yeah. Okay, so that's another bust. Oh. We just named like nine busts in the last five years. I came years. with a body bro, shot. I came up top. Hus came down low. Listen, bro. At the like, I look at it, and there's definitely bigger. Watch problems. out! We're about to steal these sneakers. Do you see my sneakers? <laughs> that's what's that next. Yeah. Yeah, and in controllers. Nah, you're not seeing my controllers. <laughs> <laughs> Cross but the, the line. point is, guys, it's not just the manager. True. In the last no, 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 but in the last on, seven years, you've had four different managers or so, and that's too many managers in that amount. Or maybe is it is it seven years? So in that, in that exactly like that. Yeah, years. okay. So Six in that, years, that's probably, too but. many regimes. You need to have consistency. Moyes, Van Hal, Jose Mourinho. You guys, Ole. guys, Ole. you were the, the the cream of the crop when Sir Alex Ferguson left. You just you just a his crop. loyalty got in the way a little bit where he had to sign Moyes, but right after that. Go big or go home. You guys, do, you gotta go you big. Did. You did. No, Stop that's fucking around. Louis you should, Hall, all right, hold on. That's the time when you go you for like a before you disrespect Louis Van Gaal. Louis Van Gaal is an all time great. No, that, he huh? yes, but he used the same thing as Mourinho. At the end of their careers, they so got outdated. Mourinho's finished. They got outdated. You're saying Mourinho's finished now? He's not finished. He can still revamp himself, but LVG and him, they are at the end of their careers, and they're. There are different systems. You're at the end of your career, like yours, for you, bro. Hey, no, man, what, you what you're, what you're saying, saying was, what you're saying is, man, you suck. Well, you're saying fucking was, awesome. Well, why are you doing the same thing as Mourinho? Well, because Mourinho, back in the uh, mid 2000s, what he did worked. Right now, it's not because pressing works. Right now, it's a whole cycle. Okay, but my so LVG my was is, at the end of that no, cycle. No, Mourinho was at but, the end of that cycle. I, I, fair, understand, fair. I understand what you're saying, and that's completely correct. You it go get Pep at that time. It doesn't work, but no, you get Pochettino. You wait till Pep had a chance to go to Europe. Dude, all right, let him finish. Let him finish. Massimiliano Allegri, he's on a free. Get him. We don't have Champions that's League. That's not fuck the Champions snacks, League. Snacks. So why would I don't give a fuck if you guys get Pep right now. You, have the back. you will struggle. You don't have the quality of players, and that's my thing. Stop just looking at the manager because that's no, what I ends up happening. No, no. Is that like managers get the blame? No, and I, it's easy. That's the easy fix, problem, guys, to problem, get rid of managers. My problem with that is that when you set your team up like that, yeah. That's my problem. So okay. if we had done the pressing and we still lost 2-0, no, that's on the players. If we're playing the Ollie system that we've seen it's, for the past It's on both, years. but at the end of the, for me at least how I look at it logically, that's how the, you all the, look the people at it. who the people on the, out there on the pitch kicking the ball, who have to put in the back of the net, 75% of the responsibility is on them. You as players, you can be like, "Hey, fuck what coach is talking about. This is what we're going to do." 
You have that ability yeah. as a captain. Who does that? Dude, who captains back that? in the day would do that all the time. Like, I oh, actually think more people do that more than anymore, man. Okay, because you have trash. You don't have the leaders. Oh, you don't so, have the so, character. So you're telling me Granite Jocko will just say, fuck what Emery says. I'm gonna No, be- because he's he's trash. He doesn't have the character to do that. But I'll tell you who will. Patrick Vieira will. If Patrick Vieira doesn't uh, believe in what How about his counterpart from United? How about his counterpart from United? Roy Keane will be like, oh, that. Oh, cool. Name one player that does that. And what I'm saying is... Anybody. The it majority. The majority of blame is on the players, dog. It's on the players and the, the ownership. The, the manager's been because, the guy who's been rotated. Because what what's ha- what's changed? Well, Tom, Tom, what I was saying was, you were at a time when when Pep went to Bayern. You still had the power in the world as a club to bring him in. Oh, you're going to Bayern. I heard something about you going to Bayern. All right, we we'll double everything you want. That's go big or go home. That's, you, but that's, unre- that's financially from bankers. That's not sensible. Yeah, from Woody. But so if you guys are the most profitable, if you're the most profitable, which I'll brag about the all Dude, the this time. Is be- this is before Neymar transfers. Before people would, oh my god, I was going to give you like no one did that shit before, even from managers. Why, why not break the mold? But that's what there I'm saying. It wasn't the thing at the time. Adapt or die. It's it's you guys are dying. You guys are dying. Adapt or die, and you're dying now. Yo, I think you guys got beat. We're up like enough. the Phoenix. We rush the ashes. <laughs> yeah. no, that's what Klopp does. He takes ashes. and <laughs> yeah, makes okay. a Phoenix. I think I think you no, think I, these I, guys I, got I don't beat up agree enough. With what you're saying because like there is like if like I said if we play like we played against Leicester that exact same system and we lost five nil six nil that's on the players completely because we did something that worked. But we did something that historically the past three years did not work. If you can back up that every time you guys have pressed high pressed you've won the game or tied the game. But, I'll agree. But, and, but and, if there've been games where you've lost. As well, when you high press, your, your theory and just falls right through. Look the other way. If you lost so, every game that you sat back, yeah, we'd listen to you. But the point is, that's the managerial. I'll give you that. He yeah. fucked up on that. But the point is, that, what I was saying, I'm saying, I'm saying sex, what I was saying was, you have a guy that before United, he failed at his other previous careers as a manager. You yeah, you guys get excited about nine. Who? Oh. Ol? Ole. 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 Whatever his name <laughs> he is. He failed? Yes. Where? He, in Ole. EPL. Didn't he, didn't he get Cardiff. relegated? Yeah, yeah Cardiff. He, he did. He had Cardiff. He, got, he, he, got, he came in to save them and got relegated. That's hardly a failure. Okay. No, and then, and then you, is you, that good enough United? You, you're asking a question. I'm giving you facts, man. He won the league in Norway like two, three years. Okay, cool. Norway. Right? But is he's that Manchester United? United. That's I don't care, man. It's, it's not a failure as a manager. He's unproven. That's a failure. He's unproven. If you get use your words correctly. Use your words correctly. You come in to save and you get relegated. That's, that's failing. The dude, that's he came into a team where the guy changed the colors of the club. Cool. You know what? I, I agree did, with you. Dude, I, I agree with you. Keep Ole. Keep him. <laughs> keep him. Hus, that's I just... Know, remember you're so deaf. Remember, you're so fucking remember deaf. when we talked about Wagner. Uh, oh, uh, Wagner. Wagner. <laughs> keep, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Wagner. I, I forgot Wagner. about it. Give it, keep Venger in. We're like, Venger in. Arson in. Arson yeah, in. Arson, arson. Get his Keep him there. Out. And Tom was always saying, oh, everyone wants us to keep Arson because they know we'll lose with him. Keep Ole. Keep them. Everyone my in the league wants you to keep them. Thanks, 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 for, thanks for breaking that down for us. Hus, you really struggled my, with Hus, this my concept. Point is, my point is, you. is, I agree with you guys that the players are at fault, but like, I think it's an even 50-50 split. So no you way. blame the people at the no IR. Way. They are the number one then. It's because they're like, hiring managers and they're I'm talking, hiring but I'm players. not talking about the whole thing. I'm talking about this game specifically against West Dude. Ham United. M- you set your team up poorly. Or maybe so you, you can't just, expect your players to perform. Maybe just not With the same that, club as West Ham. Regardless, regardless of that expectation, you should still, as a what player, is Ole Solskjaer, What does Ole Solskjaer have to do with Marcus Rashford getting it on the left side of the 18, inside of the box... Deciding not to shoot it with his left foot, but instead cut back to his right foot. What does Ole Solskjaer have to do with what that? I'm saying, what I'm saying your is... Your player's decision-making and your lack of overall I'm quality. Saying, exactly. I know what you're saying is that it's a 50-50 with the manager and the coach, and he did not set him up in this specific game to tactically. He did not. I'm talking about overall, dog. It's your players. It's players, ownership, manager. You need all three to be in line, but... Stop looking at the manager because you've rotated Dude, the, look, look the at managers. Pa- look at Pochettino, man. He, he went to Spurs. They're in the exact same position we are. Com- complete different lineup. <laughs> But but dude, he has had no bankroll. I'm saying you bring that guy to a club that has bankroll, and he can actually buy players. Yeah. He but, can do. But his why league. would he? But why would he leave Spurs to come to United if we don't get the? Because they weren't giving him what he wanted. They weren't giving him the, the finances. He's really fucking happy to sit down and be content. They weren't until this if, summer. If, this if, summer changed shit with Ndombele. The Ndombele, what they spent seventy million no, or something like that. He still wanted. He said you yeah, he, he, he doesn't get to choose. He, he wanted two or three guys. Exactly. But my point is, you better win something. My point is, if he was discontent, if he wasn't happy, quit, leave. Nah, bro, that's like, um, 
What? Oh, they're not letting me do it. At, like that's my point. Like that's not realistic. As of, this is why I concede it to Tom when Champions League matters. This isn't Burger King, man. You can't just walk away. Have like it that. your way, man. You can't just have it your way. Or that. BK yeah. Brawler. Uh, uh, yo, this got to move on to Quick Touch, boys. Yeah, it's been we've been getting deep talk. here. Um, Southampton won. Bournemouth three. I mean, um, this one was close. Real. They struggled early too. Bournemouth this yeah. season, and they're, they're coming. Chuck Wilson again, man. Southampton have heart, man. And Bournemouth, dude, Bournemouth played like dog shit, dude. Mm. Bournemouth played like dog shit this get game. Results, bro. Southampton with class, no results. But dude, result, the bro. mistakes by Bournemouth's back line, like Southampton were high pressing the shit. They had the ball the whole time. They mm. were they were the much they were the best team on the day. But it's just, just they, Bournemouth no. was clinical, man. Look, Southampton also was the set piece that Nathan Ake scored on. I believe it was a corner kick. He flies in there. Um, and then the the mistake, the last one, the third goal between the keeper and uh, what's his name, Bendenak, whatever the hell his name is, man. But um, Jedinak. yeah, my boy Gun, think it's Gun gets into it with, <laughs> with, the, with the center back, and Callum Wilson wasn't having the best day, but you know what, he cleans up, get himself a goal, man, and he rounds out his performance right there. So like, you're right, Southampton, especially Wilson, towards the end, it was close. It was a two one game. Dude, they, Southampton they, was pressing on there with the home team. But they man. have the the way their style of play, man. The penis formation was on. Hey, and <laughs> put my dick in it. Wait, well, I, 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 wait, I, wait I, you're gonna I put think, your dick think, in the penis? I formation? think they have, they have well, enough. I don't even know how that makes sense. Yeah, I think they have enough to stay up to see. I know they kind of they kind of relegation fodder for, for us this year, man. But the way they play, hustle and hurdle, hustle over hurdles, still doing the <laughs> thing, man. Hus could never jump a hurdle. I could. I could. No fucking way. Dude, I was good at track and field. That, dude, we'll do it right now, I'm saying, dude. I'm not talking about fucking eight us. We'll do a PFC track race. Um, Get the hurdle. All right, all right, all right, all right. I might have to stretch Huss. out a little bit. Huss. Huss. I could still do a hurdle. Huss. It just it would take some time to Harry get the hurdle. I'm a hurdle again. race. Huh? Harry Wilson. Okay, he might okay. be that perfect I, he, WD-40 silk player you guys will get next season. So, okay, here's a couple things. One, dude, um, yeah. he's 22 years old. 313 minutes this year in the league. Foot. Hey, 313 minutes this uh, this league in the league this year. Three goals. That's not too bad. A goal every 100 minutes. Pretty damn good. Um, especially for a player that's 22. That's and still on the, the fringes of Liverpool. And on Bournemouth. <laughs> and um, we have a few young players coming up through Liverpool. And that's another thing we talk Who about. Who are you most excited about? Well, <sighs> uh, you just opened up Pandora's box. <laughs> You know what, though? I'm actually kind of intrigued because he... There have been a few other players that have been like the Golden Boys Rhea of Liverpool. Brewster. Because he's already made to the starting... Um, the um, the senior team. Let's go where quick Wilson, touch. Harry Wilson really hasn't. So he's been loaned out here, loaned out there, yeah. doing well. So I'm kind of intrigued where Golden Boy versus guy that's just willing to go out there and work anywhere, anytime. Ronaldo versus Rooney. Yeah, so I'm... I don't know. I, I like both of them being there. And the fact of the matter is, if they both prove to be um, not top class, but definitely uh, bench worthy, well, Liverpool just saved themselves about bottom. 50 mil, maybe. I think this may be a upset of the weekend here. I think all other results went relatively the way um, conventional wisdom would say. Everton, zero. Sheffield, the Blades. The Blades. Gutting oh my the Toffees God. with two goals here. Phil Jack returning it. home. I love it. <laughs> right? Or not returning home, but returning to the club that he captained for years. Yeah, man. As a Blade, man. The best mascot, and best mascot, best best badge probably in the fucking Premier League, man. Two fucking giant pirate pirate fucking know, swords. The gun is pretty vicious. The cannon is... Look, hey, Ravel cannon's outdated, man. I wanted to start so bad. Look, if we want to talk Goose. about... Look, we're talking about United. Never outdated. We talked about United. But if we want to talk about a set of fans that ca- actually have legitimate reason to just be always angry... The Raiders? It's Everton fans. Oh. <laughs> they spend all this money. They get all these new managers and they just comes to nothing. Notice how it's like the same thing that United doing right now. Just get out the managers... Bring in a new manager. Well, get new Chelsea, players. The bring in new manager. Here's the thing. Dump the Chelsea cash. system? Remember, remember last well, week, guys? Chelsea's is good at it, though. Remember last That's week? Chelsea system, though. Yeah, but they were good at it. It doesn't okay. matter if they're good or bad, dude. You're trying to discount what he's saying. No, but the point is... You said, yes, it is the Chelsea system, but they're just better at it. Yeah. But you won't give them that. You're just going to say they were better at it. Yeah. <laughs> they're better at it. Yeah, yeah but they get were them out. No, better no. at it. They were, Chelsea's just straight up better at it. Everton. And, by the way, it wasn't completely the Chelsea system because Chelsea would buy the top... Class players, United doesn't. Dude, so yeah, what about the yeah. top class managers though? Frankie Lamps. Yeah, Mina had a little bit of a mare, man. I don't want to get. I don't want to get entangled. I love this guy, man. But me he, too. Let me tell you how to mare. Look at Digne, bro. Mm. Amir, 
My man's last at the week, full last week he was nice. Mentions <laughs> said to me when I was helping him last week move. Luka Dinia was the best left back in the Premier League. Oh, what a force. Who, who said that? Amir. What a moron. And, and he, Amir. I'm only kidding. And you, you said you want to come on the show? You said you want to come on the show. I'm not out. kidding. Hoss, call him out. He's not even the best left back in Merseyside. Sorry. Come on, bro. Yeah, that's that, on, that's That's, that's, that's because you talked about the ben best Chubo's left back. Ben Chubo is better than Lucas Dinia. Luke Shaw is better than Lucas Dinia. Here's the thing. Dude, everyone gets... Now you're wild. Everyone loves left backs going forward. Going forward. What do you do when you lose the ball? Dude, Ben Chubo behind the ball, man, is solid. Yeah, you saw. I, I like Robertson. I like Joel. That's it. I like Joel. Joel's like solid man. He chills well. Dude, what's what's well. what's my well, problem with this team is that with this every team, which team, is, team? There you go. Look at their front four. Dude, Richarlison nice. on the right, Sigurdsson, who's like ninety years old, but he still got and it. And you can bring Bernard, and then Moise Keane. Last you, week we said, well, I said. Why are you starting uh, my boy Calvert Lewin, aka not my boy? And then um, I think he had a Wobie out there as well. Uh, we, so last week we asked them to change the lineup, put Moise Keenan. What's Marco Silva to do, man? These guys are inconsistent. He cannot guarantee. There's no guaranteed goal scorer. I put on Everton. I put. A, I take Bernard off. Put a Wobie there, and that I, 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 I don't say forward. that fixes everything. But Dude, again, you know what I do? When we talk about take Poch, Moise, take Moise oh, Keenan, but, put but, Lukaku but in. But again, you talk about Poch. Give him oh. money. Give him money. Give him money. What's Poch going to do? <laughs> he could be either really good or really bad. Because same thing with Silva. Never had a team that gave him money. Now he has a team that gets some money, mm. and he's still not doing it. So oh, he's Poch, under pressure. Yeah, exactly. But Poch, same thing. If he goes to United, he gets all these players because Kerry King kind of fell, you know, into his lap. I don't like that. Certain Poch players hasn't kind of fell into his lap. Yet. Deli Ali kind of fell into his lap. I don't. Yeah, know. You can write so, out Deli Ali now. So the point is, yeah. But the point is, Marco Silva is what Poch could be. The, could be when he gets funding with Everton. It's like, how long do you give Silva if he's not? bringing in results with Dude, all this they're, money they're just, they're just inconsistent I think we're going to see this from Everton I think they'll end up being a top top 11 just because their defense top is 11 after spending 300 mil and that's the pressure that's the Come pressure on. for sure but top he, 11 he better be top 10 but I think top 10 with worst, sp- I think worst case scenario <laughs> Every, everyone spent a lot of money though Plus, everyone's spending a lot of money so dramatic oh, yeah? you know what I mean let's yeah. just Everyone's mil? spending a lot of money. 300 mil? 40 mil. On Not 300 mil. You're talking 300 mil over the course of but, years. But at this point, two. everyone's spending a lot of money, Three. dude. Two. They spent 200. Didn't they spend? They didn't spend 200 mil last year. Oh, okay. So maybe it was 100 mil every year. Yeah, because so. a fact Maybe, straight, maybe it's bro. 200 mil the last two years. But the point is. One, Leicester spent we, 40 on Tilly. Yeah, yeah, we can move on. Sorry. One, to, on, one to Palace. One to the Wolves. Bro, Wolves suck. I said it. It was preseason. You guys are like, yo, you guys got to worry about the Wolves. The speed to do and Jota and Johnny. Don't, we were don't talking about you. Team, to be, to be fair. Son. We were Winless. Just ta- we, we were just talking about United worrying about the Wolves. Winless. <laughs> Win- I ain't worried now. Winless in the Premier League this season. Scrape a draw. Scrape a draw against a, it. a shaky Crystal Palace side. And then Roy Hodgson, I don't know if you guys saw the shot. He's sitting in his chair and he's in the 95th minute. He sees them concede and he goes like this. Like that, exactly. Yeah, because the fans can see that. Bro, Sakri <laughs> might he, be on for his Peter and, and he broke every bone in his hand. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I swear to two might be in the sack race. He might I be hope no I sack race, man. Dude, they've no been playing up I hope he isn't, just for the fact that I mean that's one of like the best uh sound sound blocks that we have. Yeah, it's like he can't leave. Right. Dude, he's been playing he's been playing Euro- European games with the thin squad, Thank traveling you. a lot. No excuse. It's real. It is an excuse, too. It we happened, have a thing squad at United. It happened to Burnley, dude, this though. Is, this, this is, is not, Wolves, man. You can't compare no Wolves in United, dude. You can't really say United and Wolves. Is that where you're at right now? Well, United and Wolves? That's where we were at a preseason. Wolves, you got to worry about them. They beat top six sides last season. Yeah, and you know they what we finished did? one place behind and, United. You know we slept uh, on? Just like you slept on Champions League, we slept on the Europa League schedule. It's the schedule. Literally playing on Thursday nights, and you got to play Saturdays or Sundays. That shit kills everyone, dude. That, but that doesn't give them an excuse not getting a It's not an excuse. It's a reason. That, to me, that's a legit reason. We're fatigued. So. We're playing guys. We don't maybe have I, that. Maybe I put the bar too high for Wolves. Maybe they're just not. At, they're not ready for it. So, as, of, as it stands right now, they're what? In Wolves finished seventh last year. I don't know if it's and my they man. set the bar for themselves. So for me, to exactly. And what changed between then and now? What changed? What was the new Europa variable? Europa, Europa, Europa League. That's so, Doug. We didn't see that coming. You right. You called them trash the preseason. We thought they were going to be doing better. But that's the reason. The that's reason. the variable that got thrown in there. Like well, hey. well, it doesn't help when you're um, when he plays, he gets a red card. I mean, it Who is was, what it what's is. What's his name? Size Roman Size. Yeah, Size. He's then, actually he's rated very low on um, on fantasy. If you're looking at because he is rated as a defender, but 
Sometimes he'll play holding Lundstrom. midfield. And then Dendonka uh, gets an own goal. John Lundstrom from Sheffield with 12 points. I mean, Dendonka, they're shooting themselves in the foot at this point. Dendonka gets an own goal. Like you said, the dude, uh, Saiz, gets a red card. I mean, an absolute mess here. That sounds um, like snack safe word. Dendonka. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Burnley 2, Norwich City nil. Everyone picking up Pookie. I still got him. No, I, I'm riding I, out. I've, I, I've dropped him. I, I didn't pick him up. I'm riding yeah, I'm, out. Seven goals in the league so far. Come on, baby. Yeah, look, I'm not mad at you. And I'm that's not mad why at you, you drop below the 50 mark in fantasy. I just thought, I just thought hey, Norwich hey, hey. was going to score. Are you ahead of me anymore? <laughs> are you ahead of me anymore? <laughs> are you ahead of me? Are you ahead of me? Oh, it's coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh it's, it's coming. coming. Oh, yeah. no, it's not. As we speak right now. <laughs> oh, at least no, right not. now. He goes, at least until October. No. <laughs> no. I'll give you one more week. August. August what? Next year. All the way to August, son. You're saying All you guys, the way. I'm going to finish above you, Huss. That's what I'm gonna saying. You're going to stay in front of me. Gonna gonna yes. Put a bet. Put You're going to stay in front of me. Make a bet. Oh, okay. What are we doing? Yeah. I haven't broken eye contact, too, what, son. What are we doing? Like, uh, we're doing like... Uh, oh, nah, bucket. dog. I'll be coaching the weekends. I'm not betting that shit. Uh, I was gonna say bucket of chicken, but I'm gonna end. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, Everyone loves chicken. I'm a, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just staring him down. Okay. I don't know why. Moving anyway, on. Ward two goals in this game gets himself a brace. Um, Ashley Bonds finds himself bloodied up a little bit in here. Um, look, Burnley, man, they're on, they're on a nice little run right now. Fuck you know, him. these guys are dangerous this year, man. And guess what changed? Oh, no, Europa. Hmm, weird. Weird and uh, and then well, the last game of to the be weekend, fair, no Joey Hart either. But Newcastle and Brighton. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I had Sucker. to. I had to. Guys, suck. Sucker. Newcastle. <laughs> Newcastle. Brighton. Nil. Nil. Snooze fest. Nothing really to report on over here. It's a boring game. It was boring. It's Brighton. Dude, it Newcastle is the worst team to watch in the world. <laughs> Man, Newcastle at home. The fans are pissed off. The, there was like maybe ten thousand in the fifty-five seater. Like, dude, nobody... Your best play is John Joe protest, Shelby. Protest, John Joe protest. Shelby is fucking nice, dude. No, he isn't. He's so nice. Uh, but, yeah. man, like... So Newcastle. negative. 5-4-1, bro. <laughs> At <laughs> home. Dude, We're getting a point out of this. Guys, no one crosses dude, half. They All were, shots from half. They work so hard to get back into the Prem. They get Rafa. They go down with Rafa. They come back with Rafa. They fucking start playing football. They make no signs. They keep losing players. They have to go to the MLS just to find guys to play. Amaral's good, man. He's nice. He is good. But, I mean, Joel... Talk- they have some exciting players. They just... Okay. So, yeah. I'm actually very surprised that the new signing, St. Maxine, is still not starting. He got hurt he, last week. Oh, he week. did? Oh, I didn't he see that He started last okay, week, okay, got hurt, like, but the first 30 minutes. But, like, hurt. this guy, I feel like, I still think that he, he could be... He's a, he's a Liverpool player. He could be a breakout... Yeah, he could be a Liverpool breakout player. player, 22 years old. Now... He's fast. When Dude, he's, he does the ninja he's, flip he's from his back. He's got cool hair. He's the best. fast. Dude, he's athletic as fuck. He's just, like... Dude, uh, who's the other beast? What the hell's his name? David Luiz? No, no, Brother no. no, no. Yeah, bro, the dude on the Wolves. Adama. Uh, oh, yeah, Traore, dude. Tom. I think no they, they're like both, him. like, fucking heavy touch. Like, these guys even soccer nah, players. Like, Sam Maxine has himself about him. Sam Maxine. Dude, 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 he, did, he did a 360 spin without the ball. Just, like, <laughs> trying, it was like... Is that agile? Who like, would you it's take? Like, it's like Bolasi or... Uh, <laughs> you they put random tricks out. Who would you take? He's 22 years old. Sam Maxine? Yes. Or Harry Wilson? Harry Wilson. I'm Harry taking Wilson. Sam Maxine. I'm taking Harry Shit. Wilson. Shit. That's it. I like that. <laughs> Harry I want Wilson. both. Stop, stop touching your left foot. Yeah. Nah. Um, yeah. Harry Wilson's nice. That, He's got that, a sweet left foot, man, but St. Uh, Maxine? That wraps it Speed. up. Speed. Wraps it up Speed. for match day six. Uh, just before we go, I wanted to pose the question. Are we really going to do this without Tiki here? This yeah, is a good here. and plus we're gonna be here. No, like this next is a different, different, different question. Oh. It's not the one that I put in the group. What do you um, want? What do you want? Snacks? Who do you think has been the most successful English team? In the last ten years, the answer Arsenal. might surprise you. Wait, Arsenal. Wait, is this like a stat? What do you like the most trophy? Whatever you consider success. Probably Arsenal. Wait, wait, because they we... have what three FA Cups and and wait, 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 Man City, probably. Nope. City's up there, but... Nope. Chelsea. Really? Three Premier Leagues. Oh, yeah, because they... Yeah. Three Premier Leagues, one Champions League, two, two Europa, Europa Leagues, the odd FA Cup here and there. They're the most... Like, at the past 10 years, obviously, like, as the years go on, it'll change. Because they buy top-end players in their system. They, so if you're going to try to do this system, system, buy top-end players. You know, when in Champions League, you win, you, you win in Champions League once, you win in Europa League twice, but still, it's trophies in the cabinet. 
And you're driving revenue. And that's, and, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, I thought when Amir posed this question to me, and I was like, Man City. I mean, like, they've redefined the game. He's like, No, it's Chelsea. And because he was trying to compare their system of how they sack managers left and right. He's like, Why we should be like that? I didn't agree with any no, of Yes and no, but at the same time, this type of system that they have going on. It doesn't just wear on the managers and the players. It wears on the top end uh, manager. I mean, the owners as well. He's not even allowed in England. I mean, sure, there's a bunch Dude, of stuff. With the finding but, success but the, by the, trophies. The, the, yeah, but the point is, I don't know well, if Chelsea's well, going to be. I don't think Chelsea's going to be this way. I don't know if they're going to be this way in ten right? years or so. When Robin sells the club, they will be a different club. Well, no, not dude, he's done this for twenty but, years. But, Why is he going to? I think. But I think Man City wears you down. I think Man City gets in the argument when you talk about structure. They they're doing what Chelsea should have done. Bringing a KDB into the team, bringing a Lukaku into the team, sustaining. Wait, now they're doing it because they've been. Man City? No, no, Chelsea should. They should have done that, uh, right? And they should have okay. taken the Man City model earlier they and did it. They've been forced to do it now with the transfer ban with Tammy Abraham, Mason Mount. All of a sudden, they're playing a lot more crazy. youth than Chelsea everyone. created the blueprint, man. You get billionaire owners, and yep. you buy titles, you buy you buy Europe. They but they, did, they, they didn't did it take 20, it to the next level. But they they won Champions League, man. They did it in 2013, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 2012. 20, and when I, I guess when I say next level, Trump I mean sustainability, consistency, but, longevity. Man City... Well, Man City copied that blueprint. They're on the same track, but they're just... They're learning. They're bleeding in youth, right? So they're, to me, they've taken it to the next level. Evolved. Chelsea could have done that before anyone, and they could have created a dynasty. But what they've done, look, it works. The model works. So it works at Real Madrid as well. Works They're up FIFA. and down. Um, I think, guys, we got to stop sleeping on this guy, Neymar. Name easy, man. Guys. Is he living still? Dude, oh, he he's, scored the he's winner scoring. the past two I'm, games, man. Look. This guy's getting booed 90 minutes by his fans. Because. And he's putting up. Well, he basically said, I don't want to be with you at all. No, and yeah, it's not, it's, I'm not saying it's, it's not justified. Deserved, but, but bro, think about, like, Think about that. Think about he's that mental in France. fortitude. The he's mental playing. fortitude to be fucking Thank cheered you. for 90 minutes. Thank you. And the mental you fortitude to be paid the way and, he gets paid. No, 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 knowing, no. knowing you fucked up. Mm. The like, signs to every your game. dirty laundry in the air. Every game and in still France. Do, and still balling the fuck out. Come on, They put Lee. banners up against Neymar every single game in France. You suck. You're this. You're sure. that. Dude, I know it's France. Take it with a grain of salt. But either way, the mental fortitude Snacks is talking about, I agree. He scores the lone goal that helped PSG beat Lyon. And it was in the 87th minute, away from home, out, skirts away from a defender, tucks away with his left foot. All I'm saying is, people don't like Neymar, the person. Don't disrespect this game. He's still one of the best players oh, yeah, in the no, world. No, no. You, can, you, may, you can hate him. But, but it's just can't... tough to see. Like, I, you don't even know what his game is half the time because he, he takes himself out of games. Or he's so injured now, too. Is he still number three? In the world? Yeah. Fuck no, no man. Dude, he, dude, he needs to put together Who a is? season. KDB. I, I take Kevin. So yeah. you chose one I, I, injury I, I for another. I think it's injury. time we got to recognize Kevin De Bruyne's numbers chose over one, Neymar's abilities. Chose one you know, injury. If Neymar for can put injury. it together for a thirty-eight game season dude. and do all this shit and win stuff, no, just win. It's the durability like, with Neymar for sure. It's the durability. What about what are you? What about you? Is he number three for you? Wait, fuck KDB, Raheem Sterling, bro. He's in that echelon now. Look, he's in the top ten the fact echelon. That you can make that argument. Is he's in the, just, Raheem, I think maybe in the top ten echelon, especially on form. It's Firmino. Um, but I'm also looking. <laughs> I'm looking at guys. Just overall, like raw ability and form and numbers, like everything. Take it all into account. But you got to take it with a grain of salt when you're playing. Your all right, here's the thing. Yeah. For I think me, Neymar. I think yeah, I Neymar is still number three. It, I would have to give it to Neymar right now. Yeah, because no one Mbappe? else is. And Bobby, he's injured well, right may- now. Yeah, well, but- I would maybe give it to Mbappe, but the point is, no one has really gone up to Neymar. I'm like, I'm taking this place. That's the thing. Yeah. KDB has been there for the last couple of years, but no one's really gone out there and took it. KDB's a good shot as well. Eden Hazard, he hasn't nah. been quite performing at uh, Madrid, but when like last year, I yeah, think you'd Eden have, Hazard. You'd, you'd have to give it to Hazard. Yeah, it was probably in that spot. Not anymore. <laughs> he had his time, but uh, um, yeah, man, just respect. Put some respect on Neymar's name, Milan, man. The Milan Derby was this weekend too. Hey, Lukaku. Who scored? Snacks. Who scored? Big Rom scored, bro. Big Rom with a head too, bro. Good for him, man. Nice little head. The same amount of goals as Dan James. I know. Granada, Granada, mm. Granada yeah. be Barcelona. Oh, hold on, hold on. Whoa, we're just gonna scoot over the Milan Derby, one of the biggest games of the weekend. Look, fuck the Granada dude. game. Fuck Barcelona. AC Milan is trash, dude. Dude. Yeah, they, they had are. a chance this game. I need to talk about Inter Milan. This. AC Milan. Inter, Inter Milan. Place. Inter Milan's perfect, by the way. Perfect. Um, on the counter. Antonio Conti's. Big Leah gets the ball and he lays it off to Suso. Suso has acres of space getting it. Mantle's Godin, left. Mantle's right. Godin. 
fucking Scrinia and DeVry are coming in on him. Bro, this guy has two options to lay it off to. I'm looking at the left side because I'm looking at Rafael Leao. Who the right was wide open. Play him. No, he wants to be selfish. Gets caught. Gets by the first guy. Can't get the shot off. And it falls to Chalahana Glue who just skies it. I'm just like, Why do Asamoah did well to get back and help Dude, I that. think we're seeing the resurgence of Italian football in a way with Inter Milan now with Conte. It's four games. And a few, dude, but who scored in that game? The, who I mean, they're, they're top of the table. But, but Juventus, <gasps> Juventus and Napoli... Lukaku. You went to Napoli. Napoli. have been doing the thing for the last five or six years now. I mean, Juve beyond that. Juve eight. But now Inter Milan's getting back on their feet. Lazio is still half a problem, you know. But the top three. What? If your league has three teams in it that can challenge Europe, like Napoli, uh, you said Lazio, like Barcelona, Real Madrid. To in, me, in, 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 to me, I think this year I'll, I'll I'll agree with that point. I think just because Antonio Conte's pedigree, um, I know. I mean, Ancelotti's got quite the pedigree in Champions League, but I think he's fallen off as a manager. And Napoli, I never consider them a realistic threat to even make it to the semifinals of the Champions League. Juventus is always a threat. But I think Inter Milan, dude, and with Antonio Conti, this guy, man, we saw what he did with that Italy side in the um, Euro Cup. Yeah, we also saw what they did with, um, what is it, in the Champions League? Lukaku? Yeah, yeah they won. Yeah, oh. and, and we saw what he did with... Um, we Midweek, saw what he they lost. Yeah, well, <laughs> so, No, they drew with no, Slavia No, I'm, I'm talking about this game. You, know, you said the but biggest game. About the how biggest Conte's game of the weekend. Perfect. He's not perfect. All right, Italy. guys. Hey, we're, still, we're wrapping it up here, man. Barcelona go down two 0 away to Granada. Barcelona are shit, bro. Neymar, oh, Neymar. I mean, Neymar. Uh, Messi made his return. In this came on at halftime. Shit All player. the pregame was, oh, Me- how's Messi gonna play with Griezmann? Is Griezmann gonna be more restrained? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like how's it gonna happen? Starts on the bench, comes on when they're already down one 0 Man, guys, go in the second minute. Early goal, fucking sucker punch. That's how you gotta beat Barca, man. You hit him. You hit him early. Catch dude, but the Barcelona, like, they, they were poor. Like, they're so fragile, man. Well, it's crazy. Dude, Griezmann, Griezmann's not a left winger. This is this is the thing that they've been struggling with. Yeah, Whenever Griezmann said, plays central, they actually play well. Pause. But Remember, Suarez comes in at striker, and then Griezmann out to the left is just on, not working. Pause. You said, when we were talking, Hus, Hus brought up a point. Well, who plays up top, Suarez or Griezmann? You said they had, all three of them had to play. No, and you, then you he take said, off who Suarez. Play, who plays where? And then you're like, well, they're all good enough to make it work. They are. And here's, here's really what is not good enough. The, the manager. Oh, Val no, we're the manager. Oh, word. Okay. If we, if we want to talk about teams right now. Is it apples and, and oranges? Are you, are you Barcelona, Man United? Fuck <laughs> out of here. You're shit, dude. Don't so, compare yourself to Barcelona. Valverde, Valverde is the problem at Barcelona. Hey, we have eight and points. They have seven points. He's one tro- higher than Oh, them. sick. Yeah, let's just do fucking points and not do Messi versus everyone else on Man United. So Messi doing, Valverde... Bro? Look, he's a he's a good manager. If you look at actually the trophies that they've won, he's won like uh, two leagues, I believe. He's won trophies and a Copa del Rey, something like that. Underperformed Champions League and defensively, they've been fucking horrendous. Dude, with he them. blew a three 0 lead over Liverpool in the Champions League. And look, the, Dude, there's, there's there, shame there. to that. There's shame to that for sure. But fucking Liverpool's attack is vicious. But, yeah, but I, I agree. A better coach, a better manager, can, yeah, can keep that game going. Right. Bro, they're relying on a 16 year old Ansu Fati, who's good. He's fine. That's who you. That's Griezmann, Suarez, Messi, who's injured, Usman Dembele, PK, coach. Because they're doing the same thing that United are doing right now. They're just buying the wrong plays at the wrong time. They don't have the. A+ but the point coach. is, Atletico <laughs> Madrid. This should be your year. And there so be. many times you remind me of Spurs. Just like you made some good signings. It looks like you're the favorites, and then you're sixth place. No, yeah, they're shit. What the what? No, yeah, it's early. Like I get it. Like but it's early, but. Yeah. You're, you're tying Celta Vigo. I mean, you're losing to Real yeah. Sociedad. Like, guys, here's the thing. Granada's this, top of the league. This is supposed to be... No. I like um, Bilbao. Yes. Bilbao One is... One of those... He was going to say the, Rocky Bilbao. Yeah, Rocky <laughs> Bilbao. But the point is, guys... Atletico Madrid, please, this is supposed to be your year of all those years that you had. Griezmann, you couldn't do it. And finally leaves you for they the quote-unquote favorites of the league. Whoa, they Win the league, shove it in his face. They won a title with Griezmann in 2014. Well, okay, well, but, but what I'm saying is, sorry, they my They choked fault. in Champions but, uh, League. But, yeah, Champions League. But I, I, I'm saying is that this is a rebuilding. You have to cause... For it's me, just, we're five games, and I agree, you have though. The my players, expectations... This is... I have high expectations yeah, for Atletico the, the Madrid this year. The turnover that occurred with Atletico Madrid is up. Like, they lost seven players and they brought seven players in. It's going to take time for them to gel. Got to wrap it up here, fellas. Got to wrap um, it up. We gave thoughts? you a lot of content there. No? Real Madrid, even though they're super bad at times and they look horrible, <laughs> they're still in second <laughs> place. They're tied for first in points. Yeah, they suck. Did you see um, Gareth Bale midweek being given um, the hand of the, champ- the Real Madrid banner? 
um, I believe it was Rafael Varane who had attempted to hand him the banner, and like the look on Gareth Bale's face, he was like, "What? You you want me to hold this? Like, what, what the fuck?" And then he eventually held it no, and posed the for, the, for the for the team the picture. French Chris Smalling was coming to me with something to hold. I said the same shit. The French Chris Smalling. But, um, anyways, That's so disrespectful to a World Cup winner. Rafael Varane's the French. You know Mustafi won a World Cup Chris too, bro? Chris Smalling. Mustafi won a World Cup Yeah, too? did he start in the World Cup he final did. like that, though? He did. I don't think he uh, started right in the back, World Cup final. That game. Did he start in the final? Oh, yeah, he did. I know he played, though. Oh, he started. Oh, well, then he it, fell the fuck I'm off. I'm fact-checking oh, that right now. Forgot. Yeah. Um, uh, October 6th, uh, Juventus, Inter are playing. Juventus is going to win. Uh, well, I, I, I believe I that's the, the day I no, saw but I don't know. Uh, Germany, Leipzig, this, Leipzig, Leipzig, whatever. They're still, they're still on top. I'm telling you right now, man. Teams got to go in for the defenders, though. That, like they, Con- they, have, they have, not even playing. They have two or three young studs playing. They're like 20, 21, 22 yeah, years they, old. Yeah, they, and Okano, the guy you were targeting, our was targeting, isn't even starting. No, right, he's young. He was he twenty years old, I'm nineteen years old. No, like, no, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm like, saying like that's crazy that they're this good without him. Because he started every game last season. Um, I'm trying to figure out when they play Bayern. So give yeah, me a keep, second. Yeah, keep going. And Anyways, uh, thank you for listening to this week's episode of PFC as always. <laughs> keep going. Uh, like, no! comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, hit us up on Facebook. T- talk in the group. Yeah, thanks for the love, PFC Nation. Oh, they're really they're appreciate they're 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 your support. And by the way, What's-His-Face did not start in the World Cup final. Oh, okay, boom. Right. boom. Harry Kane? Mustafi. Mustafi did not start. Thank okay, you. Did he, start? did he go in? Thank you. Okay, oh, now we're gonna change the the argument. No, you said he started. No, no, no fine. <laughs> oh my god! Listen, Rafael. Yeah, as like always, that. as always, you wrong snacks. As always, Thank Liverpool you. suck. No.